been fair and a gloom and a broken smiles oh no this is the time every chance led into this to this night to this friend Take you back again tonight. Ooh, my. Ooh, my. Can't believe I found you, baby. Come alive. Love that you, you like. We're dancing in the
Bonsoir, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hi everyone, welcome to uh, session 16 of Throne Top Sands. Uh, how's my volume? Is it too loud? Is it too quiet? Um, with the music? How are you guys? Let me just say hello to the, the peoples. Hiya Frankie, thank you uh, so much for the resub. Thank you for um, being a part of our community for a 12, uh, and supporting the community for 12 months. I hella appreciate it and you are a star. Also, hello Sha, how you doing? How was your session last night? I'm sorry I wasn't able to stick around for too long. I had so much work to, to catch up on for tonight. <laughs> hi Spectacrons, how you doing? And hi Mac, how is all the things? And also hello Sap as well. Perfect volume, perfect, good. Cause like that would have been really awkward if like I had to go back and do that again. But yeah, how's everyone? Welcome. Um, there's a few things to cover uh, cause today is not a normal session, Brought Up Sands. Um, 
we apologize uh, for not being here last week. Um, there was a few tech hiccups on uh, my end. OBS wasn't super hot. I think I think my PC is normal now. Uh, I think I was able to find the replacement, not the replacement, like they, I think some goblins took it last week and just painted a black box and then gave it to me. Uh, but I was able to find where they put it. And I think they haven't swapped it out. Everything seems fine, so it should be all good. Um, yeah. Wait, if I do, I'm so good. All the field, I'm glad. Hi, Manga. How you doing? I found the volume slide. I can hear your gorgeous voice. You're a star, Manga. And I appreciate you being here. So, yeah, a few things. Uh, today's stream is uh, we are. How are those cops? Very rude. PC gremlins are. They are. Either they're inside your PC or they're outside. Either or. PC gremlins are the worst. So yeah, we've got a few things to cover. Uh, tonight's stream is a fo uh, is a fundraising stream. It's a very sudden, last minute thrown together stream. Uh, that is fundraising for Naro, uh, which is uh, the Pro Choice America Foundation. Uh, we're not going to discuss uh, the situation that's happened. Um, like we're, we're not going to use this stream as a platform to discuss or to have a debate about the situation. We are just here to support and. Uh, as a cast and as a team as a, and as a stream uh, we are we support the message and the drive that Naral are and the activities Naral are doing to um, help support and fight for freedom of uh, body auton uh, autonomy and so if you would like to help support the charity and and that you can here and I believe if I do this this shouldn't do what I think it does perfect yeah, so there's like the information on the charity and donations. Um, where are we? I'm just going to quickly just, uh, go over a few things. The, uh, Nero, uh, Pro Choice American, uh, America Foundation fights for free productive freedom for everyone. Uh, each day we, uh, they organize and mobilize to protect that freedom by fighting to for access for abortion care, birth control, paid parental leave, and protection from pregnancy uh, dis discrimination. And yeah, and that's just something like I, I've. Um, I was hoping to do something regarding this, well, not so soon, but like, I was hoping to uh, find the time to do something. But I'm glad like I was able to squeeze it in with this. Um, and depending on how things go, like I'll maybe do something in the, uh, during the week, or I'll, um, the plan may be to have all my art streams for the rest of the month also be a part of this uh, fundraising. Um, yeah, so like we're not going to use this uh, with, uh, the chat as a, a platform to discuss uh, the politics of human rights because it's discussing that it has to be considered political. Um, but everybody does have full control of the body and the stream, the cast and the community we have built supports this. Um, every sub uh, and uh, that like is given from this stream and up till the end of the month, I'll be um, matching with a donation of a pound. Uh, and for every bit that is cheered, I'll match like pence per bit, essentially, um, with a personal maximum of fifty pound. That might go up depending on the situation, but right now it's a cap of uh, fifty pound from a personal donation through you guys supporting the stream uh, like that. Um, yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, so there's that. Uh, I'm gonna quickly catch my chat again. We could just uh, gone, um, got done doing a lot of yard work. Wonderful. I'm glad uh, you got a chance to be outside, and I hope you were able to catch up on all the yard work. Thank you for your support. No, Seth. I'm I'm here to surf. I believe that's my uh, personal motto on on all things. Um, other than that, news. Um, Bard RPG, the uh, Kickstarter that I did art for, has uh, been fully funded. Um, you can still support the project um, if you want to, and you can f uh, go follow the project if it's something you'd want to keep on top of it's a, a ttw system that's folks i mean uh gender i mean genre and system agnostic so you can almost use it as a supplement for your storytelling so if you want to be a part of that you can through um by being part of that thank you yeah no it's it's very exciting i think we just hit a hundred percent like i think an hour before uh the stream started uh scrib put a few things on twitter about it and it's very exciting and i'm, I'm like honored and i am so proud of this entire project. The team's amazing, and the art produced for the stream uh, for the the project is already uh, some of the best work I've done so far uh, all year, I think. 
I'll be working on from now on as I have video editing to and then my own stream later. I hope the fun goes great and such good stuff. Thank you, Mango, and I appreciate that. And I hope your stream goes grand as well. Uh, other than that, uh, we've also hit uh, 800 followers. Uh, we hit it last night after the um, the Twitch KO uh, a Jackbox stream. Uh, thank you guys for supporting uh, and getting me to this place. We've nearly we're coming to two years now. Uh, we've actually hit one year of tasks. Uh, last session, uh, last Monday was, um, I think Monday 13th, yeah, was uh, the one year anniversary of TAS, which is wild. Um, and so I really appreciate you guys being here and supporting the stream and just being so active and such an amazing community about it all, or, and being a part of it all and like doing just all the things, but you're all stars. Finally, uh, we're going to go into the announcements regarding tonight's stream. Um, we're going to cover, like, there's a bit, there's going to be a slight trigger warning, there's going to be a bit of retconning and a mention of the channel point redemptions. So we'll go in uh, backwards order. So we're going to go with channel points. Um, you might have not, if you've been watching TAS in the past few, like, uh, three, four streams, you'll notice there is some channel redemptions, um, such as the lair actions or the healing spirit and, like, uh, chat inspiration. Um, I need to turn off three of the <laughs> redemptions. Uh, because they're for my art streams. Um, no, Mac, you're breathtaking. Uh, where is channel points? Let's turn those off. So yeah, every channel point that you see on stream is related to this. Uh, if you refresh, you'll see. Uh, don't refresh just yet. They'll refresh when I go uh, leave. Uh, but you'll see there's... But that's if you want to refresh. You don't need to. You just, just remember the ones that are like paper clips. You can't redeem for the stream. Um... But like the lair action, uh, Aster Party, Chat in, uh, Inspiration, and Rejuvenating Spirit and such are all redemptions for this stream. And they all have a positive. Well, they either can be a hindrance to the party or they can be a, a positive for the party. And you can help and support them through that if you would like to. Uh, there's some. And like the lair actions are always unique to the dungeon. So if you want to. So if you are into messing around the party and like trying to do something cool and specific to the story and impact. The story line through that you can use their actions um next is retconning there was a moment last session uh where lonely co was speaking to a spirit um that sp a spirit would have been speaking uh the language of the bakoran uh, which is bakoran um and i had uh forgotten uh to, <laughs> to mention that uh luckily lonely co and lo-fi boy do understand the language so we're just taking a, a little rewind uh where lonely co and uh, Lo-Fi Boy uh, had, um, had, what's the word, they had, they had spoken in uh, ancient Bukoran, uh in that, in that little portion. The next thing is the trigger one. So, this session has a portion where a character it has been, is being held captive, and um, at the end of last session, uh, that's uh, confirmed that that's Kiko. Thank you, Georgia, for the one month subscription. And you're also a star. Thank you for the 11 months of support. And thank you for just being a star. Because, like, you've got, like, you're also part of the team and everything. You are a bean. Thank you. Um, yeah. The uh, the trigger warning. Um, so, yeah, there is a character that is 14 that was uh, referenced at the beginning of last session. At the beginning? Or during last session. Uh, that they are being held captive. And there was, uh, they were shown to be held captive and or shown in distress um that is as far as it goes essentially it's uh that's there's no eluded harm after that point other than they are being held captive and just terrified in the moment so hopefully that isn't triggering um and if there is like worry of like it escalating uh i can guarantee that they won't be i it's something that i don't like to um or have like such graphic and realistic depictions of um just terror i guess you could say in um in my games and like this is essentially like the as far as that would go so if there there is a worry about it going further uh i hope you can feel like you're in safe hands i i personally promise i won't um go past that um but when we do get to that point where it become where the character is like revealed to be held in stress i will I uh, mentioned, um, give another trigger warning about it, uh, just in case, if you would like to avoid that section. Um, but hopefully that doesn't um, induce any 
any painful or um, upsetting um, feelings and imagery. And because I want you guys to have a comfortable and an enjoyable time while being here and aboard the, uh, the Sunset Rail. Um, so that's everything uh, that I have announcements wise. Um, yeah, no worries, Mac. I, I realized I should have done it last session, so I'm hope so if, if in future I'll hopefully be able to catch myself so to avoid um, stuff like this again. Um, nothing like did come up uh, regarding um, regarding this issue, but I just thought like it might be worth uh, bringing up. Um, yeah. Uh, one last thing, uh, all this art you see on screen is a mix of fan art that's been uh, given uh, and like uh, like shared through social media. Um, and if you want to have your art shared uh, and you want to <laughs> make uh, TAS uh, fan art, um, please do. I We love to see it and it will be added to the reel. Uh, and also, uh, you'll see you've seen posters for the uh, TAS poster challenge which is a yearly poster challenge we do that is focused on world building and an art challenge that adds to the depth of the world of Shrey Leia. And you can, and these are all fan creations or fan and friend creations. And you um, you can be a part of that and add to the depth of the world if you would like to. Um, and you can find out more of that on my Instagram, my Twitter, or in the Discord if you would like to. But yeah, that's all the things. We're gonna just quickly get ready to uh, hop into stream. And thank you guys for being here. We'll see you in a bit. I'm just going to turn this off. Bonsoir, everyone. Hi. Welcome to uh, session 16 of Throne on Top Sands. You'll notice uh, we have, we've had a little uh, a little uh, glow up in, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you could say, uh, since last session. Um, yeah, uh, you'll just see, like, we've got a few things on screen. There's the, uh, we've got little cards for the characters and the NPCs that are part of the party at the moment. You'll notice the handout art that is always in the corner chat, obviously. Uh, there is a section now that will be uh, saved for like advertisements and promotions for like uh, various projects and stuff. Um, but like also for like uh, today's stream, uh, it's for uh, Naro, uh, the foundation we are fundraising for. And also at the bar, obviously, is the the uh, the donation source. Um, and yeah, so we're gonna, and also you'll notice that we have uh, our two wonderful players, uh, Lonico, played by Georgia. Hi. And Sam, played by, um, wait, Lo Fi Boy, played by Sam. Sam, played by Lo Fi Boy. That's him. Yeah, so I'm Lo Fi Boy or Sam, but. Mm. <laughs> That's him. I'm glad you guys like the new layout. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Where are we? I was gonna say a thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna do a quick recap of last session. I'm glad you guys are loving this. Let's see. All right. So last session, uh, the duo made their way down the mysterious transmuted, uh, transmuted uh, tunnel to find the furious older sister of Kiko, uh, Kira, along with a stranger, Katsumi. Uh, I'm gonna pull up uh, those two so you guys can see characters if you haven't already. Uh, Kira and Katsumi. If I do the things I'm going to search for, I can't find it. There you are. <laughs> um, Katsumi, uh, another Janasi woman uh, with prosthetics arms that they, the part, this was the first time the party met uh, Katsumi. Uh, after a conversation with Loniko and a confrontation with Lo-Fi Boy, uh, they learned uh, the two had lost Kiko again within the ruins of ancient Isotope. Uh, they've just, uh, uh, Loniko and Lo-Fi Boy had just like been traveling through the uh, sewers in search of the yokai that have been um, wandering underneath uh, the Isotope City. Um, 
Oh, to 10 AEs and Kira's uh, reluctance. Please do not be doing that music. Uh, to to yes. yeah, sorry, no, the music was doing something. Okay. Uh, <laughs> To and, uh, me. <laughs> no, it's all good. Uh, to Tenetes and Kira's reluctance, the two parties uh, became one and started exploring and searching for the youngest uh, sister. Uh, discovering amongst the ruin of the Bakoran houses, they would fight uh, yokai and come across a group of ancient forged constructs that attacked the party and even uh, a spirit that was in hiding. After this intense encounter, there would be more trouble because after another conversation, uh, Tenei had become enraged and attempted to apprehend Kira and Katsumi he chose poorly um, because he became immediately overwhelmed by the strength of uh, the two and then there was a sudden tear in the world um, and we ended the last session if I if I do this and move us over to the uh, the map of this for tonight's session it's this one and we're gonna just zoom in on the uh, where we want to be because we don't want to go too far there we are. Do this. Let's find ourselves. Yes. And if I do... Where are I? Uh. If I do this, bang. It's not for both parking in his portrait. He is not... <laughs> you can't see his other half of it. <laughs> he, um, you only see half of his lips because the other half was uh, destroyed. By, uh, by the flowers that uh, consume his right side. Of his left side? Or the right side? What side is it? Uh, I believe it's the right side, right? I think so. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I'm going to change the music. Um, but yeah, as you can see, the uh, tear in the hole in the world uh, just, just below. If I just do this and zoom in. Kira and Katsumi had rushed towards the tear in the world, uh, seeing um, Kiko being held by this strange, monstrous uh, yokai with six fingers and eyes all over her arms, uh, with a basket, a woven basket um, on her head, covering her head that had little holes, revealing more eyes. Um, and Kira and Katsumi had rushed towards the. Um, this uh, sudden tear in the world trying to reach in um calling for their younger sister and to give uh, to get her back uh both becoming very teary-eyed and angry and as that hole closed up uh they both dropped to their knees and there was something that was said and that's where we're gonna and we're gonna start the session there once i find the music i'm looking for there we are because this is now Tear open or, or not? No, no, the tear that's that's that closed up. Ah, okay, okay. What's this? There we are. If I then also do this, so yeah, the tear closes up as fast as it appears, and they all the uh, Kira and Katsumi both just drop to their knees, and her health is not that low. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she took much damage, if I believe. So yeah, they both just drop to their knees and just start crying. Um and just shake in like just kinda like Shake in a uh, but frozen at the same time. And you guys How do you guys react to this uh this scene? Uh, surprised. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't suppose there's any way to know where that was. <laughs> you. The vicinity of. Mm -hmm. You. Ruins, or what direction? Even. What direction? You. I'm thinking, like, I have magic awareness. Like, but my reaction is also, like, very, like. It's already feel like on the verge of crying. But. Mm -hmm. I do want to kind of like try to see if I'm able to feel something, but sure. Roll Arcana for me, and uh, what does your magical awareness give you? Uh, it would be this. Um, I can open my awareness to the presence of concentrated magic until the end of my next 
turn, I know the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of you that isn't behind total cover. So, it's for spells or items. This isn't the intended use, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Yeah, anyway, so... Yeah, well... With your magical awareness, you... In the area where the portal appeared, there was a slight corruption. Um, you can't seem to sense beyond your radius as like you kind of like feel uh, your magic like ripple outwards. Um, and like as the ripples come back in, you feel, you do sense the odd like, the, f the same like f scent of corruption through like the yokai uh, dotted around you like um, behind certain walls in certain places. Uh, and that strange spiritual magical energy that was from the construct that you guys fought earlier um, rippling from the same places you guys do hear further on to the um, the east uh, the sounds of um, the, the, like, the faint echoing uh, cries of someone which you can assume is Kiko and you also like do hear like the sound of um, just forged spirits roaring and like chains jingling, uh, echoing around the uh, the caves. And like when you, um, if you remember when you looked in the uh, the portal, you saw there was a wave of like a bunch of yokai and also forged fighting. Um, some of them torn in half, uh, trying to apprehend the basket hag as she was holding onto Kiko. The yokai were trying to wait. The forge were trying to stop the yokai. Yes. <clears throat> I, I think I'd walk over to Katsume. As you get closer, and... you see Kira is just uncontrollably crying. She is just. Almost like sh like on the verge of shrieking, she uh, she's crying, um, and Katsumi is just like faintly crying as well, and like she uh, she's about to like go hug, and pull in Kira, uh, she sees you come over and she pulls Kira close, as as uh, she looks at uh, both on their knees, so they're looking up at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't. I'm not asking for forgiveness, but if we can set our differences aside for a short while. I'm just sorry. She. They. She just looks at you. Kira is like um, nestled uh, within Katsumi's shoulder, and like you can see Katsumi's shoulders getting uh, quite wet. Um, Katsumi just looks at you still, uh, her tears are like just falling into Kira's hair and she just looks up at you and just gives a, uh, frown, uh, a slight frown and then just nods. And I then... don't suppose I know any songs from the Earth region? <laughs> I'd say you'd know, uh, you'd know some music. If you want to, uh, roll... If you want to, you can roll, uh, history or performance to see if you can remember anything. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just laughing that in the chat it's because... <laughs> under my roll. Mm -hmm. Um... It's 26. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, if I pull up roll 20. Oh my god, it's <laughs> 26. Yeah, no, you are able to recall many, many songs that, like, are essentially um, of, like, varying genres, um, standards, um, shamisen standards, and even, like, recent music that's come out that, um, that like, originate from uh, Edo Sha. And you, you feel like you'd be fairly proficient in playing them. Um, 
as Katsumi, um, you see Katsumi lift Akira up. Akira still is just like holding on tight. And um, she stops like being audible in her crying and actually just uh, silent, still shaking as time goes, uh, or as, um, as you start playing your music. And you are doing a very good job. Is there any specific type of like melody or? Um, I think probably like not anything too happy. Like the kind of thing mm -hmm. that I guess, I guess kind of like a children's like nursery rhyme kind yeah. of thing. Like something a mother would sing to mm -hmm. their kids to make them feel better kind of thing. Mm -hmm. When you do, um, you see Kira lift her head up out of the, uh, out of the, um, the, I don't know what the word would be for it, the damp uh, corner of a <laughs> recess of Katsumi's shoulder, and she just turns to you with a, uh, teary smile, um, And like you can see she's trying to hold herself together as she's smiling at you. Um, and then like uh, she just like mutters uh, thank you. And then I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'll just nod at her and be like, we'll get her back. Don't worry. You see, uh, she goes to, like, um, wipe away her tears uh, as, um, as you say that. And it gives you a nod. And Katsumi smiles at you as well. Uh, she also is uh, teary-eyed when she, when she smiles. And then, love, love, gonna... Oh, sorry, go on. <laughs> no, go on. I was just going to turn away from the room to sort of give them a moment and put to lo-fi boy but he's moved into a house <laughs> <laughs> just bought a house <laughs> around. I, I, I've been pacing around because I kind of rest like I'm kind of nervous from this situation mm -hmm. I'm afraid that like if we take too much time to process emotions that like she'll be in even more danger but I realize that like after the conflict of last time and I'm still pacing when I'm thinking this like mm -hmm. I, I know that like if I interfere and I don't allow the emotions that need to be had I'll just cause trouble so yeah um <laughs> as you are contemplating these thoughts you see a little shrine um in the recess of the world amongst a few uh, Shiseki, a uh, wild Shiseki stones just rippling and um, waving in their various colors forms. Um, uh, amongst the reflection, you see these four um, statues uh, just sitting there. Um, they look to be overgrown, um, but you notice that like they are, they look to be like almost like kept intact by um, the vines and the foliage around them, keeping them safe in their recess. Um, and like, as you like are looking through the rubble, um, you can just see like what like remained of like old Bakoran furniture, just covered in dust, covered in uh, brick and stone and tiles. Uh, whatever was like whatever remained, um, no longer is like of like a actual use. Any food that was stored, right away. Any uh, fabric or uh, textiles that were um, worn or like um, comfortable are now just ruined by age and like eaten away by whatever uh, creatures did live down here and as you pull out your um, your seed pouch you are able to pull out an, uh, an Aiden bellflower uh, planting it in the in the fairly like the soil uh, as you stick your finger into the soil the soil is very healthy it's very good soil like as you place it down um you see it actually begin to start sprouting already and um 
it flowers into four. Give me a second. Into a uh, single like branch uh, with no leaves, but just four bell flowers at each uh, point in the four cardinal directions. Um, like the flower is pointing like that, you mean? Yeah, the flower. Mm. Um, how strange that like it, it, it grew so quickly though. Um, can I? You, you can uh, assess um, why if you'd like to. I'd like to. Sure. I, I'm thinking. I'm wondering if it's if it's like some thing a bit more constant from the Shiseki stone, or if it's like just a wild effect from. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing these ones are like slightly oops. Uh, no, they're slightly good. different colored. Yeah. The, yeah, like the colors change. The, they're they're constantly changing. Uh, they, they never right, have right, any right, one fixed right. color. I see. I see. Um, if you want to roll for me, nature with advantage. Uh, low Nico. Um, when you leave, uh, give space to um, Kira and Katsumi. You do see that like she just begins to stroke um, Kira's oh. wild hair. And just starts muttering words, um, words to her. And Kira just nodding. Um, and you can see just through the rubble uh, of the house, um, Lofi Boy begins to plant a flower. And you are well aware, uh, Lofi Boy, that this the flower growth is induced by um, the wild magic that's in the area. Magic uh, provides magic. Magic provides a lot of energy to everything that exists and like plant life when given a such a wide or such such a ranged and full and rich uh, uh environment of uh just magic that flows and like just like la desperate to latch onto any one thing um it like as soon as the sea touches the soil the flowers immediately would just bloom through like that um that contact and like you you know through your research that like that those flowers would almost immediately be like within like a day those will become shiseki stones themselves mm. uh do i know like does it have to remain in this area to become a shiseki stone or is it once it's like bloomed that like um like can i take the flower with me and will it mature into a shiseki stone it will have to still be in the same area uh, or in the same rich the magic magic rich environment that it's currently in uh you can assume this is like being in this just cave underneath a city that has a magic school the magic that just radiates mm. out of the city yeah goes yeah. would like burrow deep into the soil and, like, that's what you can assume is causing such like that's why you can explain a lot of the sticky stones are all over the place yeah many of these could have yeah. just been flowers Um, actually, um, something that I wasn't able to do before with my research, can I try to cast Druidcraft to see if I can accelerate the m maturing of the flower? Sure, how does it work? Let's find out. Um... Whispering Spirits of Nature, you create one of the following effects, and when you create a tiny homie sensor effect, it predicts what the weather will be. The effects might manifest the golden orb for clear skies. Oh, that's just weather. You need to make the flower bloom a seed pod to open or a leaf pod. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you are like your. What, uh, describe what Druid Craft looks like to you. Or when you cast it. Well, with. Um, like, basically spending a lot of time uh, with uh, Don Nico and Shiseki Stones and becoming a wild magic barbarian, how I see it is basically kind of like feeling like the pulse of the wild magic um and trying to um exude that pulse like beyond my body mm -hmm. and so if my flowers uh, were to kind of like sway or move at the same time they would and um yeah it's kind of like imagining uh, 
like the energy go beyond my body and into uh, the well in this instance into the flower mm -hmm. as like you yeah as like that waves through you um, when you make contact with the flower you feel it's almost like it's a not pushback but like a boost of energy comes from everything around you as you cast into it and just the energy that you're pouring in and the addition of that like does accelerate the growth and you notice one of the uh, petals begins to turn crystalline and uh very like i would describe it as very like it's it's it, like it looks like stop motion in how like the petals just go from a soft um papery thin uh texture to not thick but like a slightly thicker rigid um geometric shape that is a amalgamation of the former shape it was in and this consumes one of the flowers um specifically uh fire uh the one that was uh, pointing forth sorry which is north If I can carefully pick it up, mm -hmm. I would I would pick up the crystallized flower. Yeah. Uh, I, I wouldn't an analyze it just yet because I still feel like um, trying to find uh, Kiko is more important. Yeah. But. Um, and then you're doing long, Nico, when you see this happen? Um, she probably just hang back and wait for Lo-Fi Blade to be finished. She's seen him plant farms and stuff before. After, yeah, as like you're watching that happen, you see Kira and Katsumi um, walk through the threshold of the, like, the the door and like just walk behind you guys they're, they're still keeping a fair bit of distance but they're looking to be a bit better they're still like they they still look to have like tears welling up but they're like not um they're not uncontrollable anymore and then um kira just gives like a look to you love by boy and then just 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 gives a slight nod it's very faint Almost reluctant, you could say. <laughs> I guess I, 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 I try to, oops, um, give it a slight nod back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, 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 um, I think we should hurry. Um, I, I tried to, to sense if there was any magical presence of the weave hole when Kiko disappeared. I only felt the presence of other yokai. I, there were, I think, two other presences, but maybe if we are able to run past them and hurry along, maybe maybe we can make it in time. Come to me, I only have about a half of my strength left, but we do need to hurry. But I also think if we want to be get there as quick as possible, we might need to maybe try and go as quietly as possible. There could still be more of those uh, forged or more yokai that will slow us down in the way mm. if we we're not careful. Do you know vaguely which direction we should be going, Lofi Boy? I only heard sound towards the east. Yeah, like that. Like you could also hear those low, uh, low as well. Um, Katsumi then, uh, very like with a dry throat, she does. Um, she she coughs up. Um, I I I I could I could rush ahead. Maybe, um, and scan if, if if you if you if you would want. Would you be able to come back? K 
Kira looks at her when, when you say that. Uh, Katsumi then looks at Kira, then looks at you. I'll come back. Was she... The, the smile she gives behind that is very faint. She tries to uh, insight, uh, smirk uh, when... Yeah. Roll, um... Roll insight. Yeah, she tries to, like, make a smirk out of that. But, yeah, she can only, like, the most she could go is Oops. into... Oh, right. nice, 6 9 okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Uh, well, with that insight, you can't really see much. I mean, with 6. You, you can't exactly read into the emotions, other than the fact that she is trying to smile. Or she's trying to smirk, but she can all she can do is... Make a very faint, weak smile. Nothing beyond that on face value. Um, I guess I, um, I, I would walk up to Katsumi then mm -hmm. and like hand her like my last uh, portion of healing that I have. I think you you should keep that for yourself or or low nico as she like uh, tip, uh dips her head just a bit to sh um, look at low nico but she smiles at you uh, her smile is a lot more happy now and kira is kira looks almost like when she sees you do that she looks a bit she doesn't really have like much of an expression regarding that she just like kind of just looks at you like huh Um, yeah. And Kira just like... Does he, uh... I just feel like there's no time to waste. If if we rest here while you go and and come back... There's the only thing I can do. Please take it. We've, we've got our own, then. Uh, she says. And then Kira opens up. Um, I mean, Lo Nico here just said she... She's only got half her strength. I think you should give it to her. Katsumi is fine. And I'll... I'll make sure she'll come back. So then I I just open it up and I pour it on Loniko. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I, I'm glad you did that because like, I can then use this. As you do that, like Kira and Katsumi just like look at you with the most puzzled expression. As they just <laughs> as they just see you just pour this um like as it opens it's, you get like this waft of cherry. Um as like uh it wafts through the oh my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, it's okay, like I forgot. Like I just thought like uh, that come on, hang on. But yeah, as you pour that, um, you get the smell of cherry, and um, Lonika, you get like it's not that bad to be fair, because like once like <laughs> it, it's kind of like how like um, once like it does like kind of get poured over you, it dries up just as fast, and you just have like the smell of cherry uh, medicine, um, kind of like <laughs> clinging to you now amongst in all the damp. <laughs> yeah, it's in your hair, and it's it's your mask is a bit sticky now. Oh, even man. your flowers. Actually, your flowers. Oh. Your flowers actually. No, your flowers petals actually kind of like uh, grow a bit wider. Even the um That's right, the crystal the crystal uh, one that was gifted by uh, for your birthday. That one even actually grows just slightly bigger. Like you, oh. you can't. It's not like immediately noticeable, but like you do feel them kind of like shift amongst all the um. Well, you could assume that it was just like as the liquid has been poured off you. Could you roll for me, Lock Boy Boy? Uh, I believe it's 2d4 plus 4. For how much healing that gives. And as you do that, like, Katsumi doesn't like... Uh, 5, that's 9. Let's give you 9 health back. There you are. Katsumi doesn't even, like, want to see what, like, where that will go next. And she just kind of, like, just, like... Um, jogs past you, but as she does so, she does like linger quickly, uh, or just for a slight second to wipe away Kira's tears, and then she just rushes off. And she sounds like a bullet as she just rushes up, and you can hear <laughs> as like her feet like rush off the brick. Uh, they're not heavy footed, but you can hear them. But as soon as they touch the grass, you don't hear her anymore. 
I'm gonna put a token on somewhere. Like I'll, I'll have to do that for it for now. <laughs> but she has rushed her. <laughs> oh no, I don't. I wouldn't do that. I could do this. She's dashing away. But yeah. So what are you guys doing? Uh, thank you, love, my boy. I think that it did actually work, so I feel a lot better. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, is Katsumi completely gone? Yeah, she's out of earshot. Unless, like, you're, like, shouting, but she's out of, like, earshot. Uh, yeah, let's say when I... Can we retcon something? <laughs> what would you like to retcon? Uh, the fact that she has manacles and that I would have taken them off of her. <laughs> I would say, if anything, like, the manacles that were there, like, you, you, like, when you last looked at them, they were, like, crumbled away to dust. Oh, dang. Okay, <laughs> never mind then. Okay, cool. Um... The only thing that comes to mind is, um... There's actually nothing, like, or, uh, like... Should we take a short rest and, or go after Katsumi? We could wait while she, she looks around. Akira just says. I don't think... I don't think the, stu the, the basket hag is gonna gonna be in any rush now what do you mean by that she looks at hello nico when you when you ask and just like her eyes just like just look she you almost the like her eyes are you could say greedy i could say is the, is the way like is the way like what you can see from her eyes for like a moment um just bear with me. Can I put a hand on, on little Nico as if to, like, not hold her back, but, like, as if I, I, I just, I'm a bit afraid for little Nico's safety right now. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, like, you, yeah, uh, as you do that, like, Kira, like, the, exp uh, the, what you see in her eyes fades away immediately. She, like, uh, looks up at you. Um... The hack might think we uh, we have a another one. Or well, she should, if she believes us. Another one. Another promised child. Uh, she when when she says that, you see that she is like trying to hold, uh, keep herself composed and steady but you can see she's kind of shaking again and um tears are very slowly welling up in her eyes but like she's not like uh, letting them go past what does the basket hag want with promised children it's not what uh what she wants it, it, it's it's what he wants when um if with with I, 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 I don't know why they wouldn't more they just they just they just want them um it's why it's why like she wants to like she if she could she she wanted to take Kiko and that's why she she tried to take her before as well um, <coughs> The Emperor? Oops. She just, she nods, um... Very, like... Not really, I'm trying to think of what it would be, it's like, kind of very snapping like that, she like does the three nods, very sudden. Like, she like, even before, like, you, like, as soon as the word, like, the letter E comes out of your mouth, she's like, yeah. She's like, you don't even need to finish a sentence, she knows where you're going with it. Has he taken any already? She nods again. Now, before you even finish your sentence. We're just... Like, we, we're not meant to get more, but when, 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 when we were asked to get... to go with the basket hag, he just said just... 
that like that, that they'll, they'll be wanting more we, we we don't know why they uh, when even when we were at school and when when we were growing up that like if 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 someone if 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 yeah if 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 one of us was was taken it was it was it was for the emperor it was it was we we could, we could only assume that like they they're just they they they're better than most in 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 ways it's it's what he he always had a divina divination wizards with him his 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 core of wizards was almost completely uh, divinate um of divination they it's, it's what happens it's, to those that are taken does anybody know i i, I don't know I'm told I'll know, but like, I'm told it's for me. But it's and yeah, she doesn't say much. She doesn't say more. Um, and she looks away from both these. Would I know anything? about not necessarily what's happening there but just about promised children in general like would the priests at the temple have told me anything about roll for me history <laughs> oh boy <laughs> <laughs> Alright, please. I'm thick of shit. <laughs> it's okay. You can't. You could argue you're shook. You're um. Uh, I'm like I'm one of those. <laughs> I don't know what it means, but. <laughs> you said. Um, Kira, you said earlier that you had undead at your command. Am I correct? Before you, before you finish, um. She's gonna go uh, like Lonico with your history. No, you. <laughs> all you really know is that like you may have heard on the news um, that like there has been a rise in uh, missing children that are of um, that are named Ko. Um, but no priest has specifically said anything uh, regarding to you. Just other than like the general, be be be, be careful of strangers and like, stuff like that. Like don't go <laughs> with anyone you don't know. There isn't um you can't danger, danger. yeah you can't assume much beyond beyond that okay. you can assume i will say even with your one in history you can it can like it might click in your mind that you the yokai when you first had uh when you had first joined the the party at the at the um where the wagon crashed that um you know you remember the yokai did try to take you specifically oh shit <laughs> um yeah and with um what's the word i'm looking for yeah what, what did you want to ask here again sorry Are they taking people away to turn them into undead at your control? Um, Kira turns to you, um, once again with, tear with tears in her eyes. I, I don't know. No, the ones, the ones that were given to me, I, they're just, they're, they're my guard, but like, no. But they, they haven't been, I don't, I don't know if they're, they were the these children. I mean, like, I, yeah, I, I don't know how long 
this goes back, but like surely, I, 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 then, then uh, I, I wouldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. It's, it's, I, 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 I knew, I knew some of them. Oh, Nico, please take a step back. Huh? Don't you understand? I think Kira wants to trade you for Kiko. I. She looks at uh, you, low Nico, when he says that. I, 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 don't, I don't want to. So don't. Well, I can't leave my sister. I can't leave my sister. Miss Kira, we will get your sister back, and we will all leave here together. Kira just looks at you and gives another snappy nod and just like a smile. I hope I, 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 I don't I don't want them to take you. Lowe's just stood very as tall as she can and confidently i would say <laughs> she right she's not yeah. sort of backing down in the face of this she smells like i you. want to i kind of want to inside check her saying that she doesn't want to take okay go ahead uh well nico because mm -hmm. shit well, <laughs> well what does your gut say what is your gut reaction you my gut reaction is that she says that if she has to, I feel like she will. You, yeah, you could be, you could say that, yeah, and then like you're not, you're not going past the fact that like, like you, you are not convinced with that, and you can't like, you got, you can't, you can't like, you can't discern much from her demeanor and her emotions and her reactions and response to low beyond your gut reaction to the uh, the face value of it of the, of the statement. Before you guys do so, I'm gonna have Katsumi moving around the dungeon. Okay, I was gonna like ask another question. No, ask you're it. Ready. <laughs> ask away. Uh, I guess with after assessing her out, um, uh, I just like stare back at her and ask like, is taking people away the kind of empress you want to be? She looks at you angry. No. What, what, why would you even think that? That's not... I'm not like him. And she... She steps forward. Cool, oh, I'm... How, we can have a staring contest. How <laughs> do you even suggest that? But why are you so vague about, like, having to treat Lomniko then? Because you won't listen, you you won't believe us. You won't you won't care. And I'll I'll do anything, anything with Kiko, anything with Katsumi, anything for my sisters and my family. And what about everyone else? When you said earlier that you didn't care for the people of Isidro City, if it keeps my sister safe, them. I would have to. If I don't, the basket hag will, and if the basket hag says we didn't tell them, then what? Then what? What happens to us? What happens to us then, huh? You, 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 you go and be like controlled by by these people, and and then like hold this information from someone who will do anything. For, for for anything and then like and then and then find it like that you're keeping secrets that the, the person that like you're and she she can't coherently like 
find the words. She's just furiously shaking there. And she summons her bat. Um, it's not fully formed, but you do see crystals forming around um, the shape of like um, of her uh, crystal club. You... I can't answer to that. Here. You can't, because you don't understand. And you won't understand. I can't understand. If not if I don't know. How can you Not know? if we don't trust each other. How can I trust you? I guess I just get on my knees. Get up. How can you trust me? She just turns away. No, no response. I'm staying on my knees and taking out my herbalism kit and I'm gonna try to heal myself. Give me a hot second. How could you understand? You can't. No one can. Even Katsumi and Kira, like Ikiko. They can they, they can only do so much. But they 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 they, they won't understand. We might not understand. But we can still help. I know. She was. Uh roll for me, Sam. Um with proficiency. Actually, before I do, can I offer to try to heal her? Does she appear wounded in any kind of way? No. She. The only things that are, like, you can see is like her like jacket. It has been torn in places, and there is like a dirt and scuff on her clothing. But she doesn't look to be um in much pain, or if in any other than the emotional and mental uh, stress she is exuding right now. Um, roll for me a uh, medicine with... Have you got proficiency in your herbalism kit? Um, it's in that box, ah, yeah. Okay. Then, um, roll that and then add, like, your... What's it called? Let's see, what am I doing? Last roll, 20. Herbalism. Oh yeah, then you're uh, with wisdom. Oh boy. I know you can roll you can roll wisdom, Sam, don't worry, it's okay. I was gonna say, can I help? <laughs> you can. Uh you get advantage on that. Okay, I'll just roll it again. Kira just watches you both. I see Lo-Fi Boy getting the wrong thing out to patch him up. And just <laughs> yeah, you you do have what's your proficiency mod uh, modifier, Sam? Uh, where is it on my sheet? It should be underneath inspiration. It's in the second column, just above. Uh, oh, okay, two. two. That's fifteen then. Um, you're able to like um, you've had like a few um, essentially like starter kits going for uh, healing potions. To get them at full strength, they would need to mature. But you are able to get something that's akin to something that could, like will will get you going for now. And you're able to make a very basic uh, healing potion if you want to roll a d4 for me. <laughs> yeah. You guys have four healing. Um, but as you are uh, looking around through uh, making, making this... Uh, this quick healing uh, potion. You do find a few things uh, amongst the rubble, uh, glinting in the corner of like the rubble here and there. Just bear with me. You can see there was like what looked like to be a rack of like uh, potions uh, in wax sealed uh, 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 um, clay pots, and like they're like labeled in ancient Bakoran. Um, just cherry medicines and like various other like um just medicines and like um ale uh ailments and oil uh oils uh, for ap uh health application 
and you can see some of them aren't destroyed. The ones that were destroyed, whatever content was within them has dried up and withered away or uh, evaporated away. But you can see that these are still there and you do know most um, most health potions are essentially um, as that uh, they were referred to as like cherry med um, cherry medicines essentially. Um, and in like ancient Makora, like that's what uh, health potion reads as and um you find two two of those and those would count as two standard health potions i will say um and like the label himself is faded but like you you are able to like roughly read what it says and um, you see there's also a glimmer of a green uh, stone gem hidden uh, amongst the rubble of with the, with the other the potions. Kira's just curiously watching you both, still with an expression of like annoyance and like just anger and just conf conflict, both inside and out. Is the like my immediate reaction to the stone, the gemstone is like if it's just like a uh, dead gemstone or if it's a Shiseki stone? Mm. Yeah, uh, well, it's neither. When you go to like pull it out of the rubble, it's more. It is a stone statue that fits in the palm of your hand that I'm gonna show to you guys. Oh, I can't show to everyone. Mm -hmm. There you are. Oh, he's so cute. Oh. You see this tiny palm-sized stone uh, Kamainu uh, figurine uh, with faded red paint uh, amongst its swirling stone um, features. And you can see its eyes uh, in between its brow and on, under one of its feet is a green uh, jade uh, stone that both resonate different auras of magic if you want to roll Arcana. Um, to try and like discern if that was a Shizaki stone as you were saying. Yeah. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. When you are holding the stone, um it, you feel a beating um like what feels like a beating heart. And like you feel like there's something within wanting to come out with very faint pulses uh, the stone itself however does resonate the stone is a shiseki stone and those that like are the 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 um the those that like are in its eyes uh and on its um brow and it's holding they all seem to be cut from the same stone they give the same wavelength you could say and they They was the word I was looking for. It gives off uh, a strange energy that is like uh, other Shiseki stones, but it's different. The whatever you think the energy that's stored within it in the stone itself is um, is unlike any any other spell you witnessed, you think, or that you sense within stone form. Oh, actually, um, can I, can I cast my last magical awareness then to try to, uh, to, to sense like, uh, if it's a spell, what kind of school of magic it belongs to, or basically a magic item. Sure. Let me just have a quick little gander at what that did to make sure if it was if it covers. Uh, it's just it says location and if oh, I school sense magic, a spell, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, then yeah, you would you would be able to. Let me pull that up for you. Basically, as I'm holding it, um, I guess I'm kind of surprised because. I've mostly encountered naturally occurring Shiseki stones. I mm -hmm. seem to observe that there is some thing crafted with yeah. it. 
It's the first time I've ever seen anything like this. You sense the stone itself has abjuration magic, uh, divination magic, and um, like abjuration and divination. However, the stone, okay. is, the stone, uh, the Shaki stone contains evocation. Um, I would actually like when you kind of try to discern like, what exactly it gives you the same feeling and energy that you felt when um, you had taken uh, an attack from Kira. When her um, when her magical beam hit uh, smashed into you. Mm -hmm. Um. Also, did you right add that? Now, did you add that yeah. plus four, by the way? Plus, no, I didn't. And yeah, you've also now got two extra health potions, by the way. Can I drink one of them? <laughs> yeah, sure. Roll two d four for me. Okay. Uh, six out of four. So that'll be plus ten. Yay! Yep, yeah, you have. There you are. Are you is like do you drink that by pouring it over you? Uh yes, that is the way you drink potions. Because mm. <laughs> you have Just to pour like it over your you, head. Yeah, you have to transfer it over to all your plants equally in everything. Let me just get a moment, let me just get that for clip in. <laughs> Are, um, as you do that, yeah, uh, anything else you wanted to do? Um, hey, no, Nico, look at this that I found, and I just hold this little <laughs> ribby thing, like, in her face. Oh, it's, it's so cute. Do I know anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a Kamainu statue. You... You, they're, 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 like, larger ones are pretty common across all of Shrey Leo. Hmm. Um, uh, you do think, that you have seen some that, like, are used, like, for protection in the household, you know, and you would be aware that they normally come in twos. Um. Can I have a dig around <laughs> around the house if there's another one yeah sure yeah roll perception for me um but yeah you know they come in twos and like you know that like normally they're just like kind of like just they have um they're given special protection magics to like uh take care of the uh the caretaker one other caretaker where are we Haters will deny it. That's how you drink potions. <laughs> but um, the only thing I want to say is if uh, I don't know, like, if it's possible to help Loniko, like, or not. But yeah, you can also roll perception if you want to as well. Uh, Loniko, you cheat. You start rummaging around. <laughs> okay. And as you're rummaging around, with... so go. Wait. No, no, go on, go on. Let's start with the magical awareness. I would have known the location of any spell or magic item within 60 feet of me. Yeah, well, uh, you wouldn't, yeah, you would sense the second uh, stone figure. This one, however, is broken. Oh, no. And it was under the rubble. It did give magic, but very faint. Oh, no. Uh, but uh, but yeah uh, with low Nico when you start rummaging around through the rubble Kira does begin to help and she is uh, as like you are like trying to clear like a, a few areas she would be uh, moving things around as she's like still kind of like looks a bit annoyed about these or oh, well at low five boy um and still angry and still like just trying to hold in her tears she'll move a bit of rubble every now and then um and when like there's rubble on the floor she'll kick it out of the way um, i am not strong <laughs> <laughs> yeah she 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 helps and you are able to find some gold 
a oh. pouch of old uh, Bakoran minted gold. Let's see how much gold she finds. Is it still legal tender? <laughs> <laughs> the you're unsure. No. Oh. Sixty-three gold Bakoran coins. I've got your loot written down here, so like, don't uh, don't worry about adding it. I'll, we'll talk about it after. The coins themselves, they like, they looked at a lot of them. Like the pouch itself that they were in, um, was in one of the jars of like medicine potions. Um, can we see? One of the like it's in you find it within one of the potion charts that were um, was labeled as medicine, and um, the figurehead that was on it, you're unsure who it would be. You do know it's like it's a fur bulk in nature. Oh wait, no, sorry, it wouldn't be fur bulk. It would be a fish. Uh, it's a fish on a uh, there would be fishes on one side with like uh, embossed uh, areas for splotches, and on the other side is a leaf. Or the shape of it, like, uh, would be a leaf. That's on the other, for my new figurine? No, on the coins. Yeah, so, like, you found 63 of those coins. Uh, what did you want to do, um, Lofobo, after finding the broken other Kamainu figure? Oh, I thought it was Loniko that found it. Sorry. Uh, but, 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 yeah, if, if I see that it's broken, um... Uh, that was from your magical awareness. Ah, uh, right, yeah, sorry. Um... I, I'm not sure if it's, uh, uh going to work, Kira, but... Earlier, I felt a similar magic thing to the figurine, but I know that you have a, there's a special flavor to your magic. I'm not sure how to explain it exactly, but if you try, like, can you try to cast some of your magic into it to see what happens? I, I think there would be a resonance at least. She just like looks at you. She, uh, uh, Kira. she looks at you confused. Why why would I even why would I need why would I need to charge that one? It's already charged. It hasn't it, it I don't think it's even been used. Oh you You know what these are? Yeah, it's it's a, that's that's a Shiseki stone. Like as like No but Okay. She's like just like gestures like all the stones outside. I, I meant to repair the, the, the figurine though. Could I take she... the broken one from the flag boy? You can. Yeah, take as it. you as you do that, she looks a bit annoyed because she realizes you've made her look stupid. Because she thought she were talking about the fixed one. And then she just kind of like, she goes a bit like more red than normal and like, it's broken, he just says. Can can I see if mending will work on it? Sure. Um, describe what your mending looks like. Um, I think I just hold it in, um, I imagine I'd have to hold it in both my hands, but um, my hands would probably kind of glow slightly and be sort of slightly warm and the bell on my little mask would jingle um, as I just sort of focus on trying mm -hmm. to put magic energy into repair road breaks in it and stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's when you are casting mending into it, you can see some of the stone is falling into place. But you're noticing that, like, whatever magic was within it is, like, almost leaking out. And the Shiseki, the Shiseki stone, as like, you're mending, you still, like, that still has the energy that it has. That has, that, that that's not broken. None of the, uh, the green jade is broken on them. But the, uh, the stone itself is. And, like, yeah, as, like, it's getting fixed, put together, the magic is leaking out of it. 
and once it's fully formed although the stone looks perfectly fine uh, except for just a few nicks here and there and the faded paint the magic that like the, the the sense of like beating magic is almost is is like faint is like is like a, you have to put it up to your ear to try and hear it so like something you you can tell something is definitely wrong with this one mm. i fixed it but the magic in it's I don't think I can put that back in. Could you? And I turned to Kira. I'm um, asking her that. I'm not a wizard. I. She just says in confused. In a confused tone. But, but could you try? I. I can't. I can't put magic in like that. That's not. My magic isn't like that. And the magic that I can get, it's... It wouldn't be for this. I mean, maybe uh, I could, but like, I don't. Oh! Th th then if you can try... Well... Hmm... And you were saying that the other one is fine, though, that it it's charged. Me? Oh, oh! Well, yeah, can't, you, can't you tell? The ripples. When you, when, what you, ripples? when you look at the statue, you see it's got ripples on it. And the ripples feel like they're moving. Similar to how Sp uh, your the current uh, Shiseki stone you guys have, Sparky, um, has the ripples on it move and wave uh, when you focus on them. And like... Did you say the... Sorry. Sorry, go on. Did you say the stones and the broken statue were still fine? It's just the statue yeah. itself. Yeah, the statue, the magic in the statue itself isn't there anymore. The, like the abjuration and divination magic that was in the stone mm. isn't in this one. Oh. Okay. I was, I was thinking maybe we can use one to charge the other. If they can share the energy. But, Kira, do you even know how we activate this statue? Uh, she goes to like, um, oh, give me a second. Um, she, she goes to like hold it and is like, her confused expression is still like, it, it just isn't leaving. Uh, she just like looks at it and just like, is like twisting it around in her hands and uh, just like looking at it from different angles. And then she just passes it back to you. Um, maybe throw it. Maybe I don't. I don't know. <laughs> and as like she just passes it back to you, you can hear the light uh, s sprinting of uh, Katsumi as she comes around the corner. And she just like she doesn't look to be tired one bit. Um, and she just kind of like, just like, begins to like, just start stretching her legs as she just gets uh, within. She just get, uh, she just uh, see you guys and asks um, what you guys are doing and is everything okay? And then she just gives a nod to Kira and Kira gives a, gives a nod back and a smile. Well, we... Um, on this thing. Hmm. One of them's broken, though. Oh. Oh, no. Huh. Well, speaking what about of... you? Well, speaking of broken things, there, I, there, I found some. Um, but there's more yokai. A lot more yokai. I, I couldn't even, I couldn't get past. Um without causing causing trouble there seem to be no way around you could try climbing the buildings as you guys like as she does as she says that she turns 
uh, behind it, you can see all the houses are just like stacked on top of each other. And like, that's why you can't see over them. Um, although like the, 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 the inside the cave, the houses are declining. The, the buildings are all, a lot of the buildings are stacked on top of each other, um, obscuring uh, further view. Oh, um, before we go, uh, is there any object you think you might need? I can create something for a couple of hours. Um, if it's a, a weapon or a rope or... I'm not sure what we need to, you know, fend off yokai and a basket hag and, um... Katsumi smiles as uh, she just raises both her fists and says, ah, don't worry, I got all the weapons I need right here. And she just kind of like smiles and like smirks to herself. And Kira just like looks at her deadpan and just is <laughs> like, why? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's very cute. And then uh, Katsumi just uh, smirks and then smiles at Kira. Uh... Um... Kieran says I no thank you. I would, I'm just looking through my things. Um, do you? Do we? So we're gonna climb over the houses? Is that what we're gonna do? We could. You wanna try? Uh, I guess. Uh, I mean, Katsumi <laughs> looks at Loniko. Maybe we, uh, would you? Would you like? Maybe you could make a ladder for him. Do you need a ladder? Oh, I, I could do that. Would you like a ladder, though, my boy? Oh, you're not gonna... Get, you're not gonna climb? Oh, well, you I was ladder. planning on climbing, yes. Yeah, yeah, make a ladder. And we I can probably hold it for you first, or vice versa, mm. and we can... When, like, go, local... Sorry, go on. Go, go over uh, all the houses with the ladder. When, when, uh, when, like, she makes that joke and, like, Lopa Boy starts and, like, talking to you, Loniko, you can just see in the corner of your eye. When you, and when you look at Katsumi, she just pulls a sm uh, a smirking, playful face at you. Uh... <laughs> and then she just smiles and looks back at uh, Kira. And then just, uh, you see her mouth okay? Or are you okay? Sorry. It will take me 10 minutes though, so are you sure you want a ladder, low fi boy? We could just help each other out, probably. Mm, I mean, we can definitely try. Oh, yeah, since you're that much smaller, uh, I can probably just lift you up and then you can help me up and like by pulling me in return. Yes, although you might need to get Kira and Katsumi to help you, I'm not all that strong. I mean, we're doing this, right? Yeah. Yes, I was just making sure we didn't want to make anything like, um, uh, well, a ladder, I suppose, or, uh... Hmm, what about a, f a fishing rod? Kira and just Katsumi just look at you, just turn to you at the same time. Yeah, like, um, I was thinking, what if Kiko appears in front of us again? I can probably, we can try to throw the fishing rod at Kiko, and I can probably cast Entangle at the same time, so that... Kiko becomes entangled to the fishing rod, and then we can reel her in. Katsumi and uh, Kira just still both just look at you. As low Nico, you might be able to see out the window. Um, I didn't want to tell you I could see the light. I no, I know you could. I'm bad. No, I, if you can, I got. I checked. If you, I was. I was sure you wouldn't see. Like, you see this. Um lumbering uh forged being outside the window and you guys can just hear it faintly as it's walking uh across the stone uh, and then 
through the threshold of the building. You can see it's one of its arms is like pulled out of its socket and like it's just like a, a mess of wires and vines and is like just being dragged across the ground. Uh, but you can see the fire that burns in its eyes and behind it and through its various exhausts are furious. And it just like looks and surveys through the area. But as it does so, uh, it it's just like it, it looks more so ahead of itself and sort of like. But it does see this when it uh, and stops on the dancing light. Turn it off. Turn it off. And it goes to try and grab it. Oh, turn it off. <laughs> Can I turn it off? Mm -hmm. As like it goes to grasp on it, it disappears within its grasps. And like as it does that, it just turns to its hand. And you can just about see the light it's through the light with the light it's giving off. It just like is bewildered almost. And then just continues lumbering away. I am I don't think we have ten minutes. Maybe we should start climbing on the roofs. Well, we we could. Katsumi, um, Katsumi says, if we want, we could. I mean, we could either buy you time or like hide in a different place. Maybe. <laughs> well, we're still not sure what I would make. I mean, uh, I was considering maybe a uh, mannequin. Or something, maybe mm. my size or Keiko, Keiko size, but it might not work. Mm. I mean, I mean, was my idea of the fishing rod good? Um... Uh, Katsumi just like just shrugs her shoulders, and Kira just like looks at you still, just like that's that's the stupidest idea I've ever heard. It'd have to be quite a strong fishing rod, I'd imagine. I mean, you're right. You could exchange the the rod thread, or instead of, I mean, fishes are strong. Maybe you can make it like threaded, uh, fishing rod thread. I. I don't know. You can, you can, sp it's an action, uh, Georgia, so you could still make it. Is it? Yes, yeah, an action. Oh. Yeah, no, you could make a ladder. Oh, yeah, it is an action. Or, like, yeah. you can make your fishing rod. Like, with extra sturdy fishing line, like, like, ten times as sturdy. Or or, uh, or, 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 it together? I don't know. Do we think the fishing rod, or is a basket hag likely to be fooled by her mannequin of a small child? She, she's well, pretty I, stupid, I'm Kira the says. Fishing rod. I, I think it's a smart idea. <laughs> That's like you mentioned the fishing like rod again. Kira just like turns away from you, but I'm back to like, lo, lo, I guess, uh, and slow Nico. I, I think she, she's, I mean, she's pretty stupid. She's, I think anything kid shaped and she'll try and snatch it and take it away. Well, it's worth a shot. Sorry, little fly boy. Maybe we'll find a fishing rod. Who knows? And I'm going to make. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to make a mannequin. Kind of, because Kiko was about the same size as yeah. me, right? I think she's so, just a bit shorter than you. Yeah, so roughly, I'm making sure I can do this. I'm pretty sure I can, but roughly my size. Um, and I guess that kind of looks like. Should I make it look like me or make it look like Kiko? Yeah, you ask it, or is it just you? I ask him, yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> 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 I was going to pull in the old token uh, from Flower. <laughs> it's like someone's died. Oh, yeah. 
I like, I just imagine that in my head, like it's just like Lo Nico just gets a norm with a bit of chalk and just starts drawing Kiko. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. We just some random time to let up a clip. <laughs> the ears. Oh, <laughs> are they the ears? The ears are bigger than the entire body. I thought that was her head. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Um, it kind of looks like Kira. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Chopper wants you to tell the difference between these two pictures. <laughs> They're the same picture. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> new like I should use that as a new token. Um. But yeah. Um. As you make it, you wanna like? Do you need to roll it to see how good it looks, or is it like? No, it just happens. <laughs> yeah, you you make a very a very good Kiko mannequin. Like it's slightly off, but like that's only because like you haven't seen her like in a while, and like you've yeah. only like met her once. Yeah, it it glimmers softly, and if a creature touches it, they can faintly hear music, uh, and it lasts two hours. <laughs> when I will say yeah, when you touch it, it gives off um, that humming music that like you both played when you uh, were um, when you first met. Oh. Mm. Wait, it takes one action to do this, right? Yes. Now we're gonna have to carry this. Katsumi just goes to pick it up. <laughs> Yeah, I, I guess so. <laughs> okay, I thought it took longer. This is my first time doing this. Akira and Bokatsu just both thank you. And then to give you a nod. And a smile. I mean, it would be... I'm... Uh, gonna try to climb the house. Um, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. We should probably be a bit sneaky, lo fi boy. Yeah, yeah, that's how I realized that. <laughs> <laughs> he just runs up ass. I'm gonna start climbing now. <laughs> Here uh, I go. <laughs> Alright, roll stealth. And like the girls are gonna roll stealth as well. <sighs> I was actually thinking we should probably go. Um... <laughs> We should probably go in the same house we saw the ancient forge come out of. I I, I bet. Well, we're going on the seen... roofs, right? So. Huh? Well, we're going on top of the roofs, right? So. Ah, oh, right. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. I thought we were going through and then over for some reason. I mean, you could climb through sorry. one of like the broken holes in one of the houses. Use the houses for shade and cover. And then climb up through the ceiling. They're not as like you like um as you see Katsumi is kinda of like squatting her neck to get in the house and so is like like Kira's horns just about touch the ceiling. Lofi where you are struggling, I imagine, to get uh to get in uh, into the house. Cause it is very uh yeah. it's a very small building. When I went on my knees earlier, it's cause I was actually tired of being hunched over. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> that one's Katsumi. Not. This one's Kira. Beautiful. Alright. Ready when you guys are. Okay, let's do this. I mean, let's do this. <laughs> Yeah, you guys are able to like stealthily just like make your way um through like the shadows. I, guess I, I wanna use uh this corner to kinda create uh kinda bend over and create like a stepping, a stepping area. Yeah. 
Yeah. Like, there are various crates and such around that you can also like use to like create stepping stones with if you uh, like. And like bits of rubble. Uh, uh and I, and actually I didn't nah, it's just gonna be me. <laughs> like we don't we can't we don't if we move things we're gonna lose time. Like we we've we we've spent enough time Yeah doing things. Okay. Well, yeah. Just climb on top of me though, Nico, and get onto the roof, uh, maybe on this side. Mm -hmm. Or, or, or mm -hmm. on that yeah. side. If you want with advantage, uh, advantage, I roll athletics or acrobatics to try and climb up the ceiling. And now it's going to be a bit scuffed, because, like, we're going to be playing with the dynamic lighting. <laughs> That's know. okay. And I, I guess I was going to say, like, well, just like in real life, <laughs> uh, but, um, I mean... That's not what happens. <laughs> oh, that could actually. Does me help? Will Nico change anything or? Uh, give me a, s a slight second. Oh, it was already two rolls. Dang. Okay, now. <sighs> During this time, I still I turn to Lil Nico and say, you know, I really think the fishing rod was a good idea, though. Revealing too much over here. <laughs> well, um, if I still have a spell slot left, I can do it again. <laughs> okay, hey, cool. Right. Okay, so you you give it a go, <laughs> and like you are struggling to just pull yourself up onto the ceiling. Um, the tile, a lot of the tiles are loose. And uh, um, it's just a lot. Like it's it's very hard to get your grip on a few of the things. Like some of them also covered in moss that are like it's a bit damp and like you're just slipping. And some of the building is still collapsing in on itself as you are making your way up. But you are able to get on top of this one house. Um, and there's a few more still stacked on top of it. Like this house here is like stacked above it. And um, but you are able to get on top of it uh, after a bit of struggle. And uh, Katsumi uh, uh, lumbers over, uh, not lumbers over, sorry, she like uh, steps over. And you just see her lift up the uh, the Kiko uh, mannequin. And you can just see like, um, you can see just the top of her hair, uh, crystal hair. And you can just see like, she just like um, has her hand up ready. Um, um, for you to grab uh, the Kiko mannequin so uh, Katsumi can pull herself up. I will grab it. <laughs> you grab it, and then as you gra as soon as you grab it, she uh, she goes to like basically pull herself up. And with one arm, she just is back up uh, beside you, and then she just grabs a hole. Oh, not grabs a hole, but she reaches out for the Kiko uh, mannequin. Local, if you want to give it a go, you can. Okay. Um, yeah, I will, uh, just actually try to use the walls and kind of like Spider-Man might climb uh, up <laughs> in the corner onto the edge. Um, Are you the thing where like, you like uh, climb up like two like narrow walls? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like- That's why I went in the corner here. <laughs> <laughs> I have such an image in my head. <laughs> it's beautiful. I, I love it. That's another clip, I think. Oh! Thank you, uh, thank you uh, Sammy, and thank you Dutch Dungeons for the raids. You're both beans. Uh, we're doing a fundraiser. Oh, sorry, I was stopping the stream for a second. Uh, we're doing a fundraiser for uh, Narl and uh, Pro, uh, the Pro Choice America Foundation. Um, so if you're sticking around and want to support... Uh, uh, the the um, support that you can it is beyond appreciated. And thank you for bringing uh, your community over here. We hella appreciate it. Um, but yeah, uh, sorry, I'm going to continue. I'm just going to have to make something quickly because I've uh, realized something is a bit wrong on chat. Yeah. Um, yeah uh, what's the time that we put down? Because I'm right there. Spider Man uh, climbing. <laughs> He's Spider-Man. Spider-Boy. <laughs> Spider-Boy. 
Um, yeah, you spied on your way up, and like Kira's watching you, and like it's a mix of like annoyance and like just like confusion, and also kind of like stunned. I like that. Like that's actually kind of smart. And so she um. Yeah, but she just watches you get up, and then so, uh... Yeah, and you, you were able to get your pull yourself up onto the ceiling with Katsumi and, uh... Uh, Lo Nico. Just give me a second. And I'll reveal what you guys see, uh, in a second. Just give me a brief moment, because it's a one-way wall. Is that how it works? I think that's how it works. I'm gonna do this. You should be able to see a few rooms. Um, and if you want to roll for me one more acrobatics and athlet or athletics to try and climb up, you can. Uh, Kira is sure. when you aren't looking. Kira's gonna also try and climb up like you. But she's and she's very fast, making sure like uh, she's like kind of like waiting till like you uh, till like you're doing your own thing, and then she pulled herself up as if like nothing's happened. But she like if like give me a second. Yeah, um, you are able to pull yourself up, and you are able to like. Um, if you, did you guys roll me that uh, extra athletics and acrobatics? Yes. Uh, Nineteen eleven. Katsumi Kira also gonna join. That's Kira. This is Katsumi. Oh no. Oh damn. <laughs> yeah. So you with them. Okay. Um, you guys use it with each other's help. You guys are able to make yourselves up um, a few of the houses. You guys are basically climbing up three or four stories, and you get like a much better view of like the entire like uh, area again. And like I'm gonna like hmm. I'm gonna do this. So if you look behind you, you'll see a few things. I'm trying to think. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think, how can I do this without like ruining it? <laughs> it's gonna be magic like this yeah, you can see like a lot of like the um a lot more of like the entire like area and like i'm gonna shine a light so you guys can get a better look at like a lot more of it just give me the faintest of moments and like that one isn't let me do anything Yeah, you guys, uh, I, you guys get a much better view of like the rest of um, ancient isotope. So if I do this, so chat can see. Um, yeah, so you guys can see like the around the entire place. You can see like yokai are cowering and scampering away from other. Um, what's the words? Um, other um, the the war forged. Uh, beings as they are trying to as they basically are grabbing onto uh, the yokai and consuming them and you notice when they eat uh, the yokai their fires burn brighter and uh, larger and they are just like searching for more and more and then like you can see some even like like are tearing buildings apart as they're climbing through uh, searching for them and this I should, in theory, have done what I wanted it to do, but it didn't. Is that like, is that a better view of like the rest of like the entire city? I mean, I don't have dark vision, so maybe. Yeah, no, like I'm from this height, like I, I'd say, like you get like a better view of like the rest of like the the place. Actually, I'll do this. It hasn't changed much, honestly. Oh, now it's changing a little bit. Sorry, I, I did the wrong, I did the wrong thing. I put a dancing light down by accident. 
sorry guys <laughs> um yeah you can see like the yokai are like just cowering away and like you can even see some uh you remember that four-armed greater shabaton uh, that you saw in the mind of isoto i mean i saw the abandoned mind uh, at the beginning of your adventure you can right. see some of them cowering away um away from uh the like the war forged as they um just fight and like corner uh some of these and even like kappa um larger kappa are like running away a uh, suiko and uh, shibatan are scampering and like falling over each other as they're trying to get away and like you can get a better view of like the entire like uh town if i do this let's see well you you get like a weird angle but like, you can see a lot more of like the town from where you guys are and you can just see like uh whatever warforge are like walking around they are just like scampering or well, not scampering but lumbering around uh, as you get higher, and that was not meant to happen. And as you guys are getting higher and higher above the uh, the ceilings, you and Lonico aren't having much trouble. Like you're both helping each other up. Uh, if anything, Loco, your Spider-Man trick isn't working because some of the buildings aren't <laughs> narrow enough in certain places. So you're not. Uh... All right. Oh. Sorry, I'm. Just... Oh God. Thank you. Um. I shall. I'll, I'll wait to like. Uh, I was gonna do it at the midpoint uh, during the breaks. Uh, thank you for whoever um, uh, donated five dollars, and also thank you whoever gifted the five primes. Um, the primes was the five subs. You're you're a bean, and Mac. Thank you as well for your gifted sub as well. Thank you. Um. But yeah, uh, you guys are able to make your way um, further up. I'm gonna give you guys your mannequin. Um, your Spider-Man, <laughs> your Spider-Man trick isn't working all the way up. Uh, Katsumi isn't having much trouble. She's making her way up. Uh, she's basically like, she's like pulling herself up with one like one hand each, as like every time she does it, and she just makes it look effortless essentially. While Kira, however, is struggling. She she is like taking her like she, she's she's very slow as like she's trying to chase you, and she looks like she's out of breath by the time she reaches you. You notice you did hear at one point. Uh, the sound of a, 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 a collapsing uh, floor, and you can see Kira is covered in dust and uh, like debris, Oof. and her hair might have a brick in it. A whole brick is in her hair. She just like looks uh, at you and like, what, what's what's so funny? Katsumi I'm like, smiling. oh, it's just there behind you. And then when she turns, I try to like take the brick out of her hair. Roll slight hand for me. <laughs> okay, moment of truth. Oh, dang. Uh, well. Like she turns around as like she's looking at the other as everything's happening, and you gotta reach and pull uh, the brick out of her hair, and as soon as you do, uh, like your hand like is over her head, she turns back, and you just like grab her face. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! Get like stop touching me! Uh, 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 wait, it's just you have a brick. I wanted to take the brick away. Katsumi comes over and quickly just like uh, brushes off your hand. You, you do have a brick in your hair, Kira. And she just grabs it and just tosses it. She's smiling and she just smiles at you, Lofo. Uh, sorry. Sorry, I meant... I meant... Oops. Um, I... Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to grab your face. <laughs> I just wanted to take the brick away. Sorry. <laughs> yeah i'm gonna like reveal as you guys get uh higher up you guys get a much like now you can look over the other side and i'm gonna reveal what you see you guys can see 
uh, from the height you guys are, not not much uh, from uh, the angle you guys are in, but you can see like down into like a almost like um, a very op wide area of the um, of the uh, the caves, and that goes very far down. Like it looks to be like three or four more stories uh, below. Uh, you can see the walls are lined with giant sh uh, Shiseki stones, all of them rippling. Um, and you can see, like, there's a conveyor belt uh, covered in vines uh, made of, like, uh, um, uh, cut down uh, tree trunks uh, layered and, like, stone wheels uh, around them and, like, littering the top of the conveyor belt. It's like a bunch of, like, um, sheets of metal, stone, bones, uh, bits of wood, and just vines growing out of everything and as like you look from the ground um you can uh you can see you you can see like there's like also barrels and stuff and like the vines growing out of all the um other shiseki stones and stuff uh the barrels uh you see i'm gonna change the music as well actually just give me a second are we kind of like walking on the ledge of the house here, yeah. or are we yeah, just? Yeah, yeah. Uh... You guys are able to walk uh, across the ledge and get okay. a, get a better view. I was like, I'd imagine you guys are moving through, like across like the buildings, as you guys are making your way. See oh, what you whoa! See. whoa. Uh, Nico, come. Stay on the uh, the roof if you could. If you like, there's yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. I didn't expect this to happen. Um, I should have. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can see like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, no, shut up. Shut up. I can't believe you suggested this. Mm. Uh, but yeah, you guys can see like down into the um the rest of the uh the arena. I'm gonna just zoom out just a titch. Ignore like what you see down here, chat, like this is the grave. Um Yeah, what you see, you can just see out of the corner of your eye. It's just sparks of like green uh, magic um, surging out from off in the corner of your eye. Uh, as you can see, also on the ground, like a bunch of like um, the silhouette of uh, lumber. You can tell they're warforged because they're moving a lot slower than this uh, other creature that has like long, spindly arms. And its silhouette is just very big and bulbous, I would describe it. And it's just tossing away and casting spells. Um, at all these um, these forged beings, as you look at the ground as well, I will describe the. You see, you can see the silhouettes of like uh, what look to be chains and ropes. Um, uh, as like the oh. trees in these area are like holding up. Um, these trees in this part of the cave are very tall, and they are holding up, and uh, or they are like what like are used to suspend um, the chases of uh, warforged. Uh, of varying sizes, um, just suspended above um, the conveyor belt and the other stones. And uh, we're going to take a break there. Mm -hmm. uh, so our party can uh, assess. And I'm going to change Kiran Katsumi's expression. As they are also in kind of like shock and awe. I don't really have one for Kira doing that. I didn't expect it to happen. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you guys can see. And like you can, you can uh, while here, actually, you do get like the sound of like the echoing and jingling chains above can be heard. Um, and the rustling of leaves and rattling of chains and metal. Um, and like further down, like from what you can see, the um the basket hag like jitters and the wolf watch are all like roaring and um groaning as they are being just swatted away like flies by the yokai but yeah that's yeah. crazy <laughs> did you say it was empty um like chases and stuff hanging from the ceiling or are they like alive <laughs> You don't know. Oh. That's so scary. Holy shit. 
we're gonna end uh, not end sorry we're gonna take a break there um we'll be back yeah so we'll be back yeah. we'll be back in about like five ish ten minutes um go get yourself a drink uh take a little mental refresh uh while we're on break grab a snack. yeah gra go grab a snack oh that is that is a good point mac thank you uh the map assets i use are all uh two minute tabletops assets um i add my own like bits here and there of course like the shadows and like the like the glow and glimmers and stuff but that is uh assets by two minute tabletop so please do check them out i need to make a command for them actually uh, i'll make a note um thank you the hydrate as well sam um yeah um i'm gonna post on the brb i'm gonna i'll be right back because uh, i do want to thank everyone that um uh, donated as well in a second uh, but we're gonna uh, just take a little uh, step away for a hot second. Thank you, everyone. Uh, and I'm gonna get the BRB music going. See you guys in a hot second. Bye. See ya. Uh, so yeah uh i hi uh, everyone um thanks for sticking around for so far i it's been i know it's been two uh two hours so far uh, the session is going to be about four um for us all together two hours um uh, in two parts uh so thank you for sticking around if you stuck around since the beginning if you just joined or are lurking or have come through the raids or anything thank you so much you're all stars i i really appreciate it especially uh with this stream and it's um it being a fundraising stream Although, like, we're, like it's because of the last minute uh, thrown together nature of the situation. Uh, um, the goal isn't to uh, reach a don uh, donation goal. It would be amazing if we did, but it's understandable if we don't, because, again, there hasn't been a lot of promotion to um, get the word out there. Um, if you do, if you want to be a star and uh, help us uh, reach uh, further, please do share um, that this is happening, uh, because the more people uh, here, the more support we can get for Narl and their um and the fight for uh for the right or uh, human rights and uh, the the ability to like be able to control your own body because like it's disgusting that like it what's has happened in the past few days and um what I've done is yeah so I've linked like my social if you want to uh share the stream and like uh, if you go to my Twitter I put a post up about like um the stream going live if you want to like share that or like just let anyone know that like uh that's greatly appreciated uh to help us get uh the information out I would like to thank those that have donated uh, both uh, through subs and uh, the actual um through the actual um event uh, uh through the um the donation link uh, first, we're going to start with the donation link because um, and if you want to donate, you can there. If I find the thing. Uh, thank you, Mac, uh, so much for the $10. You're an absolute star. Uh, both just as just such a generous bean and just a outstanding member of our community. Uh, Art Parlor, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, you're very new to the community, but thank you so much for the $5. And thank you just so much for being here. I hella appreciate it. And I hope you are enjoying your luck. Um what else is there oh who else is there uh frankie uh you gifted a uh, sub and so did georgia um and those are going into my personal like donations every sub i'm matching um a donation of a pound up to 50 pounds max uh at the moment um and any bits uh donations will be matched by five uh by pence each um so thank you georgia thank you mac um and also thank you mac again uh and thank you uh frankie and uh the non non gift gifter thank you so much for the five gifts as well that was very sweet of you i i greatly appreciate that and that will be i believe on my part that's five six seven eight eight pounds so far on my part um but if you've got a prime sub or um yeah if you've got a prime sub um if you
I um yeah, if you got a prime sub, feel free to um feel free to subscribe uh, and like add to the code if you would like to. That way, like you you're not you're, you're taking some of Amazon's money and uh, putting into something that's pretty uh pretty important. Like I, I would say cool, but I think it's uh it's more important than it is cool. Um, and again, like this stream isn't aimed at being a discussion of politics of human rights the fact that you have to call it like uh, refer to it as po uh, political is tragic in so many ways um and so yeah like we're not like this isn't aimed at uh being a discussion or debate about politics and instead is just to raise awareness and support for uh people that can help and um help regarding um giving people uh the right to uh full control of their body and the stream the cast and the team and the community that like we've built supports that um also welcome <laughs> the true almighty texan hope you're hope you're enjoying the vibe so far and anyone else that's lurking or stuck from the raid um thank you for being here you're you're, you're all beans um what else is that i do have to say i don't think there's much just you off the top of my head um before i get back i'm gonna throw on a quick ad a uh, minute and a half just so that like anyone joins the next half i don't need pre-rolls <laughs> what's up choco fox dice up clocks clock in and play some fucking awesome dd no no you're all good that's i i i vibe with that enthusiasm i'm glad i'm glad you're you're, you're here i i really appreciate that and if you uh want to play dnd with us uh sure my texan we uh run in the in the discord that's link we run a community uh west march is the idm that's set in the same world as shrey Leo and is actually like in tandem with this campaign like the the current events that are happening in the game are affected by the west marches and the west marches affects the campaign it's a wonderful time um and a spooky time in in the best ways um yeah again uh, thank you all for your support um we're not although like yeah we're not aiming expecting to hit uh um a goal um but as long as like we're raising awareness and helping keep people alert and aware of the situation and just uh knowing how they can support is all that like we we can do i guess um and if you are protesting and if you are doing um and fighting in a much more active way please keep safe please um please do your research to know how to keep yourself in in um in safe ways uh because it is a very dangerous situation and there's many things that are fucked up about the entire situation and uh all i can say is i support you as a community we support you and just stay safe again um yeah we'll be back in a few uh sit tight get yourself some water have a look at my various arts if you would like to um if you've enjoyed the art and stream uh most of it is mine the only thing that isn't is the maps by two minute tabletop um so yeah, feel free to look around feel free to do your own thing uh and hopefully we'll see you guys in a, uh when we get back thanks for sticking around bye
Bonsoir. Welcome back. Hello. Oh, the music's really epic here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start this playlist again. Uh, we, uh, we ended the, we just took a break and we're back from that. Um, before we went on a break, the parties began to climb the, uh, thank you. <clears throat> well, um, as like where, um, or as the, what's it called? As the, you guys basically, yeah, uh, the party began to climb up the ceiling of all the buildings up, up uh, three or four story, well, three to four stories of uh, houses of like, they're roughly about like um, six feet high, um, these buildings. And so they like, you, they've towered over a bunch. Um, Katsumi with no troubles, uh, Kira with a lot of troubles. She had a brick in her hair at one point. Um, <laughs> <laughs> did I start the players again? I was like, no, I, I didn't. I just like. So, yeah. Yeah, so like you you guys made your way and like you saw just off in the distance you could see the basket hack um throwing her weight around as like holding uh you could just see like the just a sparkle of like pink uh coming from Kiko as you could see uh the basket hack, uh with a flurry of like hair and um just like uh, fabric and just giant spindly fingers um, amongst all the like uh, the light coming off of the um, the shiseki stones around them, just swatting away Warforge, tearing them in half. Um, and the yokai um, Warforge are struggling to like fight, but like you can see that they once like tossed aside, they just come crawling back, even if they were on just their arms or just their legs, they just like make their way, dragging themselves, uh, making trying to take down the yokai. Uh, you notice that all of their fires are very low as well, from the uh, the distance. Okay. Um, so for some reason, the basket hag is here. Um. Yeah, by the way, is the conveyor belt moving? No. You can see Kira is like just uh, frozen in place, and so is Katsumi. Put yourselves together. Do you know why the basket hat came down here? Akira just is frozen in place. Katsumi, um. Katsumi just shakes her head. Uh, no. We. Mm. We, we were never told. So, the basket hag is killing the forge, and the forge are eating yokai and trying to kill intruders. So, um... Oh, well, there is. I mean, when I planted a seed earlier, it really grew, like, very quickly. Maybe it has to do something with the uh, concentration of magic in this area. Maybe the basket hack doesn't have the power, but... Maybe there's something that it needs to be able to do what it wants and that it can find it here. There are a lot of Shiseki stones here. Yeah, the magic that radiates from this place is insane. Almost immeasurable. Okay, um, well, can you, uh, Loniko, can you, are you able to create multiple objects at once, or is it just one at a time? No, if I create another one, it, the current one will disappear. Oh, then I guess we'll just have to use the rope that I actually have. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying um, to fish Katsumi, I mean Kiko, from over here? No, 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 to get down, I mean... Ah, okay, okay. We could move a little closer, maybe, first? Sure. Yeah. 
you guys can uh if you could roll for me an athletics or acrobatics as you're trying to make your way across the the roofs Slow Nico. Oh my god, I cooked it. It's just taking its time. Oh. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. What's this little dragon I have? Oh, That's my. inspiration. You have an inspiration. Oh. So you could use it if you'd like to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that the advantage one? That yes. One? Yeah, sure. Oh, oh. Hey. As like you are making your way, um, Lofi Boy, you are like being pretty cautious and making your way uh up like across the um the path, I mean the, the roofs and making your way away from like the collapsed ceilings and like analyzing where your next step is and doing so you also like do uh, the same when you're uh reaching down and like getting yourself to the lower levels um katsumi and kira are um aren't having much trouble as well and they're able to make their way fairly well um loniko however you as you're making your way you do almost just almost uh you step on tile that like collapses in on itself uh, causing most of the building uh, that you were on to like fall in uh, but luckily, you were able to sidestep it immediately and just rush and uh, have no trouble um, as you made your way uh, down the, the buildings. And you got a lot closer. And as you got to where you are currently, you can see... Let's see. You can just about see into, like, in the, like just below you is a Tory gate uh, guarded by two uh, Kamainu statues um, into a little, um, little valley you could say, or well, not valley, but like a little tiny garden amongst a bunch of Shiseki, uh, one giant Shiseki stone and uh, three, uh, four statues, sorry, um, that just sit there uh, peacefully woven in stone, uh, crystal stones and, um, and feathers. I mean, not feathers, sorry, and plants. We, do, we can just turn this corner and stay on the same level, yeah. <laughs> what was it, what, sorry? No, just realizing uh, that, like, we could turn the corner. Uh, is it Katsumin, me, and uh, Kiko following us? Yeah, they're following us. Uh, Kira is following you, yeah. They're, they're following you down. Uh, is this like closed off up here? Yeah, that's like a um, cave wall. Uh, it's like climbs up to the next set of buildings, and like as you get down in here, you can like the smell of metal is very evident, but there's also like the smell of like um, the sea and just like salt and just open air, as you can hear very faintly amongst the. Um, the battle of like Warforged and um of Warforged and um and the basket hag and just like the uh odd bits of like uh, Kiko crying and just like uh, shrieking in like as she's being just like um swung around uh, by the basket as she's fighting you you look up and you can see um, some of like the, ha the the remainder of the houses that like are hanging over this like almost like I'd say sheer uh, cliffs uh, or rock surface that like is kind of like secluded away um, from this portion. And like there's a way there's a, uh, like a few like rocks out outcropping the wall that you can reach down um, to get down onto the ground level if you wanted to. Oh, there are. There are, yeah. Where do we see them? They're just on the side. Okay, okay. I, I, I want to try to get down. Giving a hand over 
over to uh, Loniko. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Kira and Katsumi also get down. And... Uh, I just see a black shadow. Do you just, is that what you... <laughs> yeah, there's nothing. It's like... Is it not a tree? Oh, it's a tree! Yeah, there's a, that's oh, a tree growing in the, in the back. I didn't realize. Yeah. I thought it was a, a pillar on which the... Mm. I understand now. Very weird. As you're like, as you're like uh, inspecting uh, one area, you do see um, what's it called? You you hear stone lurch and wood creak as the conveyor belt begins to start moving. What? It just moves just for a second, or a few seconds. Should we, should we put the the, the the mannequin on the conveyor belt? Are you whispering or are you what's what's uh? Are you you, you guys still um, stealthing by the way? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I will. No, no, it's okay. I will ask that you guys roll again for me. Um. Okay. You can still hear like a bunch like all the no noise that's happening. Is still like. You're you're very much like able to like seclude yourselves. Just curious how loud you guys are gonna be. But yeah, continue. Should we? If I'm not sure how we're supposed to to distract the basket high. But I mean, putting it in the middle of everything seems like a way for us to be able to go around them, possibly. I, 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 I could put the. Put the mannequin on the on the on the conveyor belt. Uh, Katsumi says. You are, you can also teleport, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Well, the lo wouldn't, Alonica... we need the, wouldn't we need the basket hand to let go of the real Kiko first? We'll make her let go. Katsumi also nods when uh, Kira says that. Um, should we talk to the doll as if it was actually Kiko to confuse the basket hag? As if we're coming to save Kiko from the conveyor belt once we've placed it there. Or is this like another fishing rod idea and no, I'm just I... like, like... No, uh, Kira opens up. No, I think this is that, that, that could actually work. It's just, but how do we make them? Kira then looks at you, Loni. Could, could you maybe like do some like? Can you cast a spell or make it see it looks like she's talking? Or do you like dormitory? Do you have, do you do you do you have dormitory? Uh, no, I do not. What does she smell like? I wish you didn't ask me that. Because <laughs> I'm gonna think, you, like, I, I haven't thought about this. Um, um, well, uh, I mean, her her favorite orange, or no, her favorite perfumes, like a, like orange, orangey, uh, Katsumi I, face. I, I can probably make it smell orangey, but I'm not sure that would be enough. I might be able to distract the forged with a dancing light and lead them away, but that's only half of the problem. I know this is risky, but... As you guys are thinking and talking, you can hear the sound of groaning Warforged um, begin to decrease in volume. 
and uh, quantity. I suppose the longer we wait, the more the basket hag deals with them instead. I know, I know. Maybe that actually might be a good thing. But we gotta make sure we get to the basket. Uh, get ahead before it's too late. What if the basket hack leaves again into the void, into the, not the void, the, the glitch, the, 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 I don't know what to call it. When you say that, uh, Katsumi, um, pulled off the back of her, um, pulled off her back, Bill Rays. Uh, we won't let her. Wait, what if we ambush her by going there? They turn to Kira. Um, and the Kira turns to you. Yes. I, I, I could teleport in. Um, we could tr we could try try get you guys to get on the other side as well, and then yeah, no, that that could work. Okay, and and I know like time is short, but and I I bring out the the stone Komeno figurine. It, it, is using this a good idea if I if I need to? I just I have no idea how it works. I think it's worth. It's worth giving it a shot. Okay, and do I just throw it in the air or at someone? They both shrug their shoulders. Your gut says... A good... a toss alone will be enough. Okay. Well, Nico, are you ready? Uh, I, I suppose so. Is there any spell you want you wanted to get ready to use? Um, because once once we see the basket hang, we won't have a lot of time. We'll have to be quick. Um, I really don't know. I I I, I put a hand on on, on Nico. Like it's okay. Just just breathe. Please don't take this. the time to think. Mm -hmm. We'll keep well. We won't. We won't. Well, we'll keep you safe. Uh, Kira says. Focus, I think your idea with the dancing light was a good one. If if there's still any war forged, and if there's no war forged, you could still use your dancing light to maybe put it directly in the eyes of the basket hag. Ah, oh, it has so many eyes. But that's <laughs> nice. not a good idea. We could throw rocks at them. Blind every eye. Well, I still have a thunder wave if worse comes to us. Yeah, that's great. And I have mirror image still, so. You okay, see okay. Kira, go to pick up a bunch of pebbles, uh, in from the bushes. Oh, oh, Kira, wait, take this instead. Hmm? And I, I give her uh, my hand axe. Oh no, I no no no, I'm not. I, I. But you can throw it. It might do more damage than a pebble. I can I can throw this as well. Uh, as she summons her um her um in a little crystalline jingle her crick, uh, crystal club. Okay. Okay. Katsume, are you ready then? Mm-hmm. Uh, Kira then passes Katsumi four pebbles and then comes up to you both uh, and has like, uh, holds out four pebbles for you each. Uh, you first skating, roller skating, roller blading. What's... Oh, <laughs> breaks just... I've never... No, Nico, you... you... You know how to do this, right? I do. Kiko showed me. Kira... Oh, I've never tried before. I'm... I... Kira smiled at okay. you when you say that, uh, Lonika. For a brief second. Good. Then you'll... you won't have much trouble. Ah. And she smiles. <laughs> and then she looked at you, Lofi boy. And then... I'm just going to change Katsumi's expression. 
she um it's like riding a bike only it's not a bike it's, it's a skateboard or it's roller skates think of it like walking but Can I, don't you walk? even, I don't even know how to ride a bike don't worry <laughs> just just don't just don't overthink it okay don't overthink it don't, don't overthink. overthink it don't overthink it don't overthink it just don't use your legs as uh, you see katsumi puts like the pebbles just by her shoes um mm. And you see Kira um, pulls out a um, a plank uh, that she would use, that you would be the top of her skateboard. And uh, she just looks at the both of you two. Um, just put it where you uh, want to make your your wheels. Oh! I know! And I take the umbrella and... Um... I put it on the ground. I try to kind of fold half of the leaves uh, that make the umbrella kind of like together into one like plank thing so that it makes uh, like this kind of like um, thing like a, a stick that goes up and then this uh, thing that I can stand on on the ground and I place them underneath it. Are you trying to explain the scooter? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Isn't I... that your sword and shield? Won't you need those? I mean, I, I can use my fist if I have to, but... Oh my fucking <laughs> god. I think it's better if we find a plank or just put them on your feet. Uh... Yeah, I mean, there is, uh, okay, like, but... there, there's a tree. Uh, Katsumi just points up, looking at you in a very confused expression. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, and... Uh, uh... Can I try to, like, just use uh, an angular branch to make a scooter? <laughs> Roll <of> perception. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you will get help. I'm, Katsumi is helping. I'm just gonna put them on my feet, like mm -hmm. those four wheel um, rollerblades. They told we'll me see. to use my legs. If, mm -hmm. if, if my legs have wheels, I can't use them anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we said don't overthink it, Kira just mutters to herself. <laughs> Is he always like this? He's always like this. I think asking him not to overthink it is asking a bit too much. Mm. Also, I might put them, put some on the mannequin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good. Uh, so you're creating you're creating roll uh, roller blades or was it roller skates? Uh, roller skates, yeah. Cool. Um, <clears throat> and when you you eventually do get uh, find a but like the the wood you need for your uh, your scooter, Sam. Awesome. <laughs> and um, yeah, when you when you when you do that, uh, you see. Kira's um, just kind of like just look at you all and like uh, start muttering to herself. Um, as you can see, the uh, pebbles that like she gave you each, uh, where you place them, just start floating and begin to grow and expand and become more crystalline as she begins to start glowing. As um, as like the. The magic jingles again as they turn into crystalline pebbles, um, or crystalline wheels, sorry, um, that slot themselves onto where you were wanting them to put. Um, you can see she like she like has like this goes on for like a minute ish, and like you can see she is like straining as she's doing this as she's thinking and concentrating, and you can see there are veins that begin that are popping in her, in her forehead as she's like thinking and uh, concentrating on the spell. But then your wheels attach, and now you you feel like you have a s sudden urge of power or surge of power come through you from your feet upwards. Yeah, you now all have the wheel spell on you guys. 
So I'm going to put a little yellow circle next to you uh, to indicate that you have wheel. That's pink. But yeah. I'm going to say, what's the... You now have wheels. What's your next plan? And we're going to go straight into it if you... Body inspiration has run out. Um, and then uh, Kira, just, Kira just nods at all these. So. I could probably try to shield bash the basket high. Um, and if it makes it let go, Kiko, Katsume, he should try to make the switch. And then we just. We can try to just. I don't know. It depends for how long the the the, the rift will be open, but we can just try to retreat, or we can try to fight. I'm unsure. Give me a second. Um, Sorry, go. On. I should say, uh, if I can, I prepare an action. So, like, if I get attacked or like grabbed or anything i can cast mirror image on myself mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can yeah, that'll be your ready action uh so your plan is you're gonna create um kira's gonna teleport where's she gonna teleport what did you want like what did what did you exactly want everyone to do just go we before the rift idea it's we just go directly to the basket hag with the fake kiko i try to shield bash the basket hag so it becomes prone when it's prone we just switch kiko with fake kiko and then we run away or we just place the fake kiko on the conveyor belt ambush the basket hag and and same thing run away or, or kill it whichever comes fastest would it be better for Katsumi like to teleport behind the basket hag with the fake Kiko and then when we're distracting it? That's what I think. Oh, uh, yeah. Do the switch kind of thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Alright. Just gonna get this going. Um... Right, when so yeah, you guys will I'll, I'll give you surprise reaction or a surprise round for this one because you uh when you guys are ready to like inactivate your plan you guys will be able to go straight in because like see so, yeah. all right so do you do, do you, should i shout at the basket heck to distract her <laughs> just like wave my arms uh... i'm a i'm a co <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I think yeah. When if, when she hears your name, she'll she'll want to she'll want to chase you. Great. Let's do that. <laughs> Dora, well, we'll keep you safe. And Katsumi gives you a nod. All right. I will nod back. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Just give me a second. I'm gonna change the music in a hot second when I. Do you want us to roll our initiative? Yes, please. So you guys who aren't in initiative just yet, when, no, this will be for when you guys are. That's not what I wanted to do. Initiative. And initiative. Eight and eleven. Oh no, eight point eight point five. Alright. Okay, you guys are gonna get the go ahead. Uh so yeah, they're gonna be following after you guys. So when you guys are ready. 
<laughs> and actually, yeah, uh, I'm just going to show you guys that thing. If I do this on stream. Bang. And then I do this on s for you guys. Location. Nope, wrong one. That's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to do. There we are. And I'm going to change the music. Oh, it's the basket hag. Mm hmm. Right, if I do the thing I wanted to do, I'm clear. So, yeah, as soon as you guys like step into the clearing, the um the what's it called uh the conveyor belt starts moving again as you see right. a forged get like just like trying to crawl its way through the rubble it's uh being pulled back by the conveyor belt and now uh, you, you guys have double movement uh with wheels by the way Ooh. Do you want us to keep track of our movement, or...? Yeah, so basically 30 feet would become 60 feet. No, yeah, you guys aren't in movement yet, uh, by initiative. Uh, so yeah. so yeah, you guys are able to do your thing. There's Akira and Katsumi are right behind you guys. Um, Lofi Boy, actually, because like, you are new to this, you were saying, with your scooter. Because <laughs> yeah. you're off me a dexterity. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> You are struggling. You keep banging into like rocks and like into the walls, and you're just trying your best, but you just keep just crashing into uh, into into things. But you are able to make your way out, and you are able to gain gain uh, gain your uh, your legs uh, or your wheel legs, if you will. Um, Scooter legs. <laughs> yeah. And as you step out of the uh, out of the uh, the little garden area, the wall forge behind you, you hear groans and roars as the conveyor belt stops. Can I put a dancing light behind it? You can. <laughs> or like in front of it, and that moves behind it. <laughs> yes. If you want to summon your dancing lights, you can for me. And I am gonna get the sheets for these boys. Yeah. Um... Oh, the, the fire! <laughs> yeah. Love equals size. <laughs> I just saw it's it. Good time. <laughs> when uh, when you summon uh, the dancing lights, the forge turns immediately from you, and then roars at that, and then tries to like look. It looks like he's trying to go eat it with its um, like a mouth opens up, and as. Can I just Move it away. Yeah. As it does that, so it <laughs> kind of it does comes its way away. Yeah. It does turn and goes to uh, goes to chase after that. But you guys are now in initiative, so if I do the things, you guys aren't. You guys are still in your surprise round. So you're all good. So yeah. Um. If Lonico, what, what would you like to do first? Uh, no, you said the conveyor belt stopped moving, right? Yeah, the conveyor belt stopped moving. Okay, I'm going to. Maybe it's my bad just won't stand in the conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. You got the Katsumi, uh, I mean the Kiko doll with you, by the way? Uh, not me, I think we just. Katsumi's got it, right? Yeah, Katsumi will carry it if you're not carrying it. Yeah. Because they were going to try and do the switcheroo. Mm -hmm. So I am going to stand like a mm -hmm. And then I am going to do a strum on my chamois end and <laughs> hopefully get the basket head hags attention with it. Um... <laughs> yep. TV Sam's going to roll on to draw on all the initiatives. <laughs> So let me just pull up uh, Kiko now. We'll have a handout. Uh, Kiko is this character, to those that don't know, uh, a young 
uh, teenage elf uh, girl. Oh, uh, this is the trigger warning. There is. Um, she is the one that's being held captive, although there isn't much alluded beyond the fact that she's held as a hostage in the situation. Uh, so if anyone is distressed by um, by kidnapping and just and that like there isn't much, we would use the fact that uh, there are like that there is a character that is fifteen and the character is fourteen. The harm I, I try to describe isn't um, super graphic. Um, think of it like almost like anime, um, <laughs> like uh, fighting if that makes sense. I would have characters uh, depicted violence, uh, but to a extent. So it's not. It doesn't go past the sound threshold. And we're gonna pull Kiko. And yeah, like you as you strum on your shamisen to draw attention to the basket hag, it turns um revealing the the young elf uh, girl, if I just do this, uh, in her grasps that she's holding very tightly with three fingers wrapped around the elf's body. And three other fingers just spindling out, uh, pointing at the three uh, Warforged that are uh, surrounding uh, the yokai. And it just turns you, and you can see all the like it's got like a just like a waterfall of hair that is just trailing behind it, um, and that it just swirled around like fire when it turns to see, uh, look at you, Loniko. And you can see all its eyes uh, wander onto you for a brief moment. All the many eyes that it has on the front of it all turn to you. Great. When it does that, I'm going to point at it and stand as tall as possible and be like, My name's Lo Nico. <laughs> mm -hmm. Still learning and I'll do this quickly. Your name is Lo Nico and. Let's cut to you. That's all right. 8.18. Sorry. Um, yeah. She just looks at you, and then you see that like she's like almost ready to throw her body towards in your direction as she is gonna about to begin chase, but she's still being sworn by these other basket hags around her. Um, anything else? Uh, no, just my name's Loniko. Uh, mm. you better let my friend go. <laughs> you see, uh, Kiko, um, in her grasp, like she looks to be like she, she's just raining tears. But when she sees you, her face goes just becomes happy for the briefest of moments, but then back to uh, like scared as uh, she's being like just like basically like dragged around as the basket is uh, holding on to her. And then it is, uh, I believe, it is Katsumi's turn. So Katsumi comes behind and then she places the, uh, you see her jump as she like wheels by uh, on like rollerblades. Uh, holding the Katsumi doll, she places it right behind you, Loniko, and then rushes towards um, the basket hack. And she gets double movement because of her wheel. And so yeah, the basket uh, mannequin is now placed behind you, and she just like charges like a bullet towards the basket hag and releases a flurry of blows onto her. And. As soon as like she just gets within range, the the hag is still focusing on you, as it towers over this um, area. If I do this, you you hear the sound of like Katsumi's just fist crash into the basket hag, and it sounds like just like a bullet and a rocket like uh, in one as her like arm thrusts straight into the basket hag catching her completely by surprise and she looks down at the urchinasi who has her fist thrust into her and as she pulls it away she goes for three more uh but um in doing so she lets go of kiko for a brief moment as she goes to grab both of uh, uh katsumi's arms and katsumi's just like trying to pull away it is now kira's turn 
and Kira is on her skateboard instead of um, she's on the rollerblade, she's on a skateboard and then she just skates by and then she just like leaping over the um, the one that's on the ground that's uh, crawling its way towards the basket. She brings her um, her crystalline great club that she just summons if I do the thing She just plunge, tries to plunge it deep into the uh, the crystal, um, into the basket hag. But as soon as like she gets within range, the basket hag kind of just like twists her body, and you see Kira just like uh, thrust into the ground with her great club smashed into and dent it, uh, caving in the um, the floor beneath her in front of her and her skateboard. It is now. Whose turn is in the order? It is Lofi. Boy, your turn. All right. Uh, full scooter speed ahead. I would go. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me just do half my movement here because the map is small. Uh, too big, Amy. Uh, I want to go in over. Uh, or like next to Katsume uh, try to... you said that like the basket hag was holding Katsume's hands, right? Yeah. So I want to like try to cut at the hands uh, with the, the sword. Mm -hmm. uh, it does 20 hit. 20 hits. Oh, I didn't roll the damage on uh, Ki uh. Uh, Katsumi's uh, initial attack. So yeah, 12. Um, as you cut into her, uh, you see like you've... Uh, is there any specific part you're aiming? Well, kind of like the wrists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you cleave off one of her wrists and like that's uh, one holding uh, Katsumi and like one finger was coiled around uh, Kiko. And as soon as like that hand gets detached, you see Kiko just like drop to the ground, um, struggling to hold uh, hold herself up. And you see Katsumi like pull herself away, uh, the arm that got cut away, pull herself away. And you can just uh, see Kira scrambling to try and go uh, pull Kiko away. And um, you can just hear uh, Katsumi like uh, shout behind you, thank you. Um, as where you cut at the wrist, you just see a wave of white fire burst out that begins to glitch and then turn into a hand again. Go ahead, roll your shield. All right. Yeah. Does she, do they need to roll strength save to try and... Uh, that would be... Uh... Sorry. So good. They got an eight anyway, so you do push them. All right. They I, I push them five feet just away. Yeah. yeah. They just get buffeted back, and I was like, they get pushed back. They the scratch into the ground, cleaving into it. Uh, and you can see she pulls out uh, a pair of scissors made of stone, with runes uh, carved into that. You don't get like, you can't see super well, as you get like just right up in her face. We do see she pulled out a pair of scissors. Anything else? Uh, no, that'll be it. My turn. Just give me a second. Um, yeah, it is now. So yeah, you guys are now back into actual initiative now. And so it is now the Ancient Forge turn. And the ones that are fighting are going to try and like go towards you guys as you see like their focus moves from the Yokai for a moment. And seeing you guys are closer moves towards you guys. And this one just l lurches its way to Kira. And then tries to just thrust a punch at her. 
uh, Kira is able to just like duck down and uh, cover uh, Kiko as the punch just flies by. Um, but then he just tries like uh, duff, uh, duff her in the back <laughs> as like um, as his hand is outstretched, it just uh, smashes downwards or tries to. And it does. Oh, I sort of like just like no. stop at the top and like, oh no. No. You hear the sound of Kira get winded as um, the weight and like the smash of the Warford's uh, fist plummets into the, her back. And you can see her body gets like just like thrust down a bit as um, as she still hold, um, shields Kiko above her. There is no more, so it is now the ones that are crawling. And the ones crawling are gonna, the ones closer to the, the yokai are gonna attack the yokai. And so they're gonna try and just thrust themselves and just try and like slam into it. If I find the one. Maybe I shouldn't have so many characters. <laughs> <laughs> Available at one, not different all at once. You do this to yourself. I do. <laughs> yeah, those are gonna try and um, attack at the. Uh, oh shit! And Katsumi would actually be pulled forward uh, when you you push Shield Bashter. So she would actually barge into uh, Lonely Co. If you could, I mean, Lofi Boy. If you could roll me a strength save. Um. Yeah, the the Hag is able to like evade two of the attacks. But the other ones uh, do get. I'll do this. Sorry. That hits as well. So yeah, like you just see like these, the ones that are like are surrounding the basket hack, they just like thrust themselves towards her and just start like just slamming into her with their like entire metal bodies. The one behind you, Lone Nico begin to lurch up the conveyor belt towards you as you can hear the um all the things that like are like around um all the things that like are on the conveyor belt are getting pushed aside and oh, i as... don't want my tasty dancing light anymore <laughs> oh shit is he chasing Dan sorry my mistake oh shit that's yeah. still a... sorry my mistake i completely forgot about this one yeah he he's still taste chasing that Okay, oof. And he just goes for a swipe at it. So what happens when he goes for a swipe at it, Lonika? I mean, it's just a little glowing ball of light, so I guess technically it goes through it. <laughs> it goes through it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, that one tries to go and attack at the uh, the dancing light, and you just hear it like its uh, body or its hand slam into the wood, and you hear the cr sound of cracking wood as... um as his hand like basically like falls straight through it and smashes into the conveyor belt below. Lonely Coat, it's your turn. Okay. Um... Um... You said the basket hag stepped back, right? Yeah, she was shield bashed by Lofo Boy. Bring the mannequin with me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Can I move through allies' spaces? Yes, you can, yeah. Sweet. You will need to roll a deck save because uh, the conveyor belt is difficult to rain. <laughs> what if I just went all the way? <laughs> like, if you, if you um, hopped off, you could still go. Uh, you wouldn't need to worry about difficult terrain. Yeah. If I just... <laughs> <laughs> she gets on for six go. seconds and she just comes back to now. I don't understand the table anymore. <laughs> Listen, it was for the dramatics of announcing myself. <laughs> you did good, kid. And now I want off this ride. <laughs> okay. Can I... Wheel in? Like... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna get off the conveyor belt. And um, wheel in to mm -hmm. Kiko with yeah. the mannequin. I can't. You can't. No worries. Um, 
Uh, <laughs> Kira seeing you come by, she like uh, just like still winded. You can see she's still kind of like buffeted away. Uh, you, if I change the emotes on the thing, she um she uh, she sees you come by. She like makes space so that you can uh, get Kiko, and Kiko is um, ready to come out with you. Can I th throw the mannequin towards the basket? <laughs> mm. You can. Um, when Kiko sees you, uh, her expression goes into a, a shocked, um, shocked expression, but then she smiles, um, and then excited uh, suddenly. And uh, and yeah, and yeah, when you get the. <laughs> And she helps you toss Sorry. the, uh, that's okay. She helps you toss the, um, the, what's it called? The, the mannequin. The so mannequin. you would get a help okay. action, um, on that one. Oh. What do I need to? <laughs> Roll a dexterity for me with advantage. Nice. I just imagine hey. the mannequin being thrown like in slow motion. <laughs> like, it's just ragdolls. Just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, technically, I could I put wheels in it, so I could just push it over. But... Yeah, <laughs> you could, but like, I think it's more dramatic. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> You're all good. Yeah, you toss it together. And as you toss it, the basket catches it. Excellent. And you hear a cold, hissing, otherworldly voice come send chills down your spine. And it echoes ominously within you guys. And like you feel it just like it hisses at you with a muffled tone. Ah, the child's. It has come to me. Thank you, children. And can I just go? Oh no! <laughs> Kiko! 2.0! No! Oh no! Kiki and then can I... is a good girl. <laughs> you should you should come here with us, Lonika. You should come. Uh, what I was gonna do is run away with Kiko. <laughs> Go ahead. You. She would. She would follow. Right. Yeah. Hop back on the conveyor belt, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Excellent. You will get attack of opportunity against the one Warforge that is uh, just around the corner. And he's going to try and attack you. Oh. Well, that triggers my... What's his face, doesn't it? Does it still trigger my reaction? Your it does. Image. It does, yes. Oh, yeah, you're, you're held, actually. Yeah, you're right. It was reaction, yeah. Yes, that the... Um held action yeah that's what words <laughs> fire away mm -hmm. cool so um, that's roll another so... does that roll a d20 on top of that um oh my god i cannot scroll it's, it's a weird spell uh, <laughs> roll a d20 to determine whether it instead targets one of my duplicates oh you have to roll a d20 uh, so I have to roll a d20. Yeah. I must roll a six or higher. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see the forge, like just look at all your duplicates, and instead of like trying to discern which one is specifically, it just swipes its hand to just like with the with the back of its arm essentially, and it does whack into you as you feel it, just heavy stone metal. Or heavy cold metal just smack into you and create a just a stinging burn but you are still in that like fight or flight mode and you just like rush towards the conveyor belt so this is exactly the image i was hoping you got loniko with a fake uh, kiko going to kiko throwing the kiko <laughs> multiplying into multiple loniko yeah. <laughs> There's so many characters, like... There's so many things like, happening right now. And, like, there's that one thing. There's kids in this room. <laughs> there is. <laughs> also, because uh, it hit me, does that mean I still have three duplicates? I think it does. 
it hits yeah, a duplicate. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it doesn't, you, know, you still have three duplicates. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna come and stand on the cliff. <laughs> As you do that. With Kiko. Yeah. Uh, lone Nico, um, I mean, Kiko didn't just like, as as she, you rescue her. Oh, he hello, 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 Lone Nico. Uh, she says very excitedly, uh, but in like a very like dry, uh, tired voice. Um, Has my action been used up throwing yeah. the thing? That would have been a free action. So you are, you would have, if you have a bonus action, you can use it. Uh... No, I was gonna kill Boone's hair, but it's an action, so. Or just five. No, it's okay. <laughs> it's, 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 don't, let's, let's just let's, let's, let's just go. As um, you see, um, Kiko then begins to hum a melody. Uh, the same melody that you both knew. Uh, but oh. like you see her voice is, you can hear it's very dry and she's like, she just is struggling to muster um, the energy. <laughs> to create the um, the magic behind the music. But you can see like sparks of fire are forming, but then she begins to look upset when like she's struggling. Um, and in doing, in like, when, yeah, when she's like doing that, she's like, she just like looks at you with a very just sad um, just expression of like, just like she wants to help, but like she, she's just exhausted. Oh, wait, I can give a bardic inspiration. Hey. I want that. <laughs> I forgot I have one there. Um, yeah. Mm. Is it a D6? It's a D6. Yeah. She she won't, she'll hold it because it was not one. Yeah. But she will uh, She will definitely use it as like your jingles and just like rejoin her energy and she just smiles. <laughs> Uh, You'll get it next time. <laughs> she 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 blushes and like it's like she nods. Yes. Uh, it is now Katsumi's turn, and as Katsumi like, gets dragged, uh, she basically pulls up Bill Ray's. Um, it was already out to be fair, and goes for a slash on the other hand of the uh, the basket hag. As you hear the sound of a slash and water and just what sounds like paper being torn apart as you see the the giant uh scissor shaped great sword slash into the arm of the the the, uh, the basket hag as uh she pulls away from the arm dealing 16 slashing damage And it got a five, so what does that do? Let's see what Bill Ray does at five. That's not it. Nothing. Nothing happens. You just see like the like where she slashed, you could see the world kind of slice open and you could see the weave through it for a second. Um But like as soon as it slashes, like as fast as it like opens up, it closed up immediately. And then, as like she's like able to pull away from the basket hag, she goes to attack this uh, warforged beside her, and then is gets ready to run. Um, yeah, you see, uh, low five. As like she just like slashes at with one hand, and with the other hand she just punches down at the head of this uh, warforged. Blowing a hole straight through its body as uh, she then just launches herself trying to run away uh, or skating away. Still with Bill Ray's in one hand and the Warforged, um, the impaled Warforged on her other arm as she just rushes beside Lone Nico. Uh, with the basket hag not having any arms at the moment or in hands at the moment, it doesn't, it isn't able to attack. And you just see um, Katsumi just like. Uh, skate beside you, uh, Lonika. As she tries w uh, shaking off the, um, the, what's it called? The, um, the impaled uh, Warforged. <laughs> God, you don't you just hate it when you get a Warforged stuck in your head. The worst. <laughs> K 
Kira than uh, seeing as like Akiko is safe now. She blindly decides to instead of attacking the Warforged Ass around her, she just rushes towards the uh, the Hag and goes to uh, attack it again with her Crystal Club. Huh? Hmm. You can see that like as she like just dashes past you, she has tears in her eyes and a furious expression as she's just like as like she picks herself back up from being like on the ground uh protecting kiko and having kiko pulled away from her she pulled uh, she gets back on the skateboard and as the other like wolf around are trying to attack her she um uh they get attacked by opportunity she um you be rolling so well my guy. <laughs> she just blindly goes into attack at the at the basket hag, which is holding Kiko. Um, and all those do hit uh, Kira. One last one. And as like uh, Kira just gets within range, and goes for a wild swing with her club. She only got 14, so she didn't roll damage. I think she just, yeah, she, uh, the, the basket hack is able to form her hands again. And, and she, holding those pair of scissors that she had, she just snips at the air in front of her. As you see, uh, Kira's great club swing straight through it. Um, and you see, you guys can't see, uh, but you just see Kira's club disappear as she just swings at the air and you just see Kira's expression go from just like already just annoyed and like angry to just furious and she is you can feel the heat raging off of her as uh she's also now covered in like just bruises from the um the war that attacked her it is now what's it called's turn Hello, my boy. Nothing with your turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks at so much writing on hand. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um. Why is he doing this? I'm so like. Mm, I actually want to use. Uh... I I try to build Nico. Uh. Should I enter rage or not? I'm just gonna give him a thumbs up and be like, go for it. <laughs> Yay! And, um. I would, uh. My god. Maybe take a step it... forward. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, I don't think I can. Because it's, uh, it's a bonus action, and I want to use my bonus action to give uh, you... Remember, from, like, earlier I had a standard potion uh, that I picked up. I only took one of them, if I remember correctly. You picked up two, I believe. Yeah, yeah, but I, I only drank one. Yeah, you only drank one. I want to use one to, like, just throw it at... Kira's face. Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> uh, I Smash do that. Over her head. <laughs> yeah, honestly, like, mm. yeah. Go ahead. That's a free action. Okay. Oh, it's a free action. Oh, cool. Oh no, sorry. It's a okay. bonus action if you want. So, like, uh, I, 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 in combat, it's different. In combat, it would be a bonus okay, action, okay. Um, and yeah. you roll. Uh, uh, if you use a whole action, it's full uh, healing. If I use a whole action, yeah, it's I'm not sure I understood the difference. So you wouldn't be able to attack on this turn if you use if you healed her. That's okay. Uh, I, I want to heal her. All right, that would be eight plus four, so twelve. Oh shit, that's subtract. What do you mean eight plus four? I didn't roll anything. You don't need to roll because you use your, you use your action. Oh, nice. Okay. And that gives full healing. So yeah, when um when you toss the potion Akira, the um she turns to you as soon as it hits her, or she sees you throw it at, in uh, amongst her swing, uh, her wild swing. Um, 
she um and she just gets splashed in the face by the cherry scented uh, medicine and she just like just grimaces at you and just growls um but then she just like the words back well not words back she just growls back you thank you uh but she still is angry when you do that mm-hmm. like um, let's just get out of here mm-hmm. i would try to say in a kind of low voice ish mm-hmm. uh no. then she she says no Fine, then I just, uh, I just take a step forward in this direction, um, and, oh my god, I, I, I turn, like, I'm kind of, like, standing back to back with her, I guess, mm-hmm. yeah. and kind of, like, turning my head, and, like, I you just tell her, over. you owe me one, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're gonna owe me one for this. She, you just hear her grab back, thank you again, uh. I, ca- I can't, I can't allow her to leave. Not after everything she's done to us. And I guess um, I've already taken an action. There's no bonus actions that I can do. So that mm-hmm. would be it. It is now the hag's turn. And you just see the hag just like snip at the air in front of you and like when when she when you can see what what she's cutting a uh, lot well you can see that she's cutting at the air creating a hole in the world as she wa- just does this above you both um and stepping um she kind of pulls herself onto the conveyor belt wait what as she just walks around and focusing both on you lo-fi boy and kirilo still carrying the um <laughs> snipping at the air uh, she turns, you can see, like, some of the eyes are, if you look back at Lo- uh, Lonika, you can see some of the eyes are still focused on you. But she's currently just, like, sniffing at the air above, um, Kira and Lo- uh, Boy Boy. And then you just... You just hear the, her hissing low voice, Naughty Girl, should listen to her elders. If only you were a co and I could take you with me. And then she um, she casts her. Uh, you just see a surge of green lightning burst out from her. If you could all roll for me a deck save. Uh, the cast the light is coming from the, the the hole that she did above, right? Pardon the light? Do you say? You said there, there's like. A light or no, no, something. no, no. She's she just snipping at the air above you. Um, and like that's like creating a hole like that. You can see where she's cutting. It creates like a rip in the air, uh, revealing the world weave through these tears. Uh-huh. And you like, yeah, could you roll? Um, uh, Love Hobo, could you roll for me a uh, deck save? Just, I was trying to understand what I was seeing to see if I was going to try to oh. do the deck save or not. Oh, no, that's not it. Like, as she, like, gets around, you see, like, a wave of uh, green lightning just surges out of her. And that's what you want. Ah, out of her. Okay, okay, okay. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! You'd have to roll above 15, so you... Lofi Boy and um, Kiko fail. But Kira and uh, Loniko are both able to succeed. Uh, you, yeah, you see this green line just wave out of um, the hag as, like, you see her hair flare up. Um, and you just see, like, as she's sniffing at the air, she brings her scissors down in between both you, uh, Loniko, and Kira. Uh, and, and, like, as, like, she cuts at the end, she steps into this, uh, into the tear, ripping it apart as, like, the lightning surges outwards. Um, causing you, Lo-Fi Boy, to get smacked uh, with it, and you feel like this this evil force just to crash into you for a moment, and just like surge and shock you, and you feel some of the plants on your body die immediately. Uh, Kira is able to like kind of like, uh, dodge most of it, but you see that like her when she goes to like block it with her bat, uh, you see her bat kind of shatters in places 
Uh, Kiko also gets buffed, and you can see, uh, you can just about see the chains that she wears on her belt and her earring begin to shatter as well under the force of the spell. And lo and Nico, you are able to just only take two damage from that, but it does buff it into you. And you feel this strange, evil energy that like pours into your soul, and you feel like it's just, it just feels like outright evil to you. But yeah, as she cuts into you and tears herself through and like pulls herself into this hole, uh, Loniko, you see up, up ahead at the end of the conveyor belt, you can see a hole open up where your dancing light is. As you see the, um, the Basquiat's hand reach out from this tear and pu pull it open and grab onto the uh, the Warforged um, the Warforged at its base and just crush its uh, head. And you see the fire just like surge around uh, her arm as she pulls herself through the, the world we've hold she's just made open. And you can just see like the Basquiat just like kind of like wash this fire over her that turned into white glitching fire. And then you can just hear her voice just hiss at the end of the conveyor belt. Where are you running, little girl? Come, child. Be good. Come with me. Come with me and little Kiki. It is now. It is now. Uh, Lonely Co oh, no, sorry. It's the Forge's turn. So they're going to attack you, Lofi Boy, and um, Kira. So this one's going to attack uh, Kira. Uh, but Kira's able to, like, as, like, she sees her uh, back crack, she pulls it back and then just swings uh, behind itself just to catch the other one as it tries to uh, attack her. And the one in front of you is going to try and attack. The, the, the mannequin is over with... Uh, I'll take it over in a second. <laughs> this one's for you, Lofi Boy, as, like, these two just come uh, scuttling towards you, trying to uh, attack you. Yeah, the, the first would hit... One of the slams, I think. It depends. I don't uh, know. What's your AC? It's 20. Yeah, they all hit them. Oh, except for the 7 and the uh, the 18. So you take 8 damage as these two just like come towards you. This one is like kind of stuck behind the tree and he just like pulls himself. Uh, he actually just snaps the tree in half as he pulls himself through it. So it took uh, 3 or 5 or 8. You take 8 damage here. From like one hit? Two hits. Oh, okay, there's a two times 22, right? Yeah. They're dangerous, boys. Hmm. Not enough lo fi. <laughs> <laughs> it is now. Loniko, your turn. Oh boy. Um, I mean, music stops, so I'm going to start that again. I'm going to cast Cure Wings on Kiko. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, if I remember how much Cure Wings is. What's in my spell list? This is. Um, 1d8 plus your things. Six. Six. Thank you. Good night. She, uh, you see Kiko just like get a warmth, fill her, and like you see her cheeks get flushed. Um, as like they were paler just uh, moments ago, and then she just like just smiles at you, uh, ever gracious, uh, gratefully. We didn't really have uh, an escape plan, did we? <laughs> you. I will say. You do see behind the hag, there is sunlight. Oh. I have just one question, Cab. So when you said the Warforged tore at the tree. Yes. Did the tree fall? Yes. It grabbed the top off and tossed it behind it. Oh, okay, okay. And like, it just like crashed into these buildings and you can just see like a, a tree that's just like, that has been torn and just like, 
suspend or like smash into some of these buildings, causing some of the uh, the building itself to the buildings to cascade down and collapse. And, and it does just it roars affect any of the things tied above? Only creates jingling and uh, the jangling of chains. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was going to cast Dancing Lights again, but it's an action. Mm. I think, oh yeah, Cure Wounds is an action. Mm. Because I don't have any more with me at the moment. I left them all behind. <laughs> you could bring them with you if you wanted, other lad. I'm mostly just too lazy to move them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. That's alright. In yeah, no, no, no worries. It's because I couldn't figure out how to move the map without finding yeah. the scroll wheel. <laughs> but I figured it out. Here it is your dancing wheel, dancing lights. Thank you. <laughs> um, if it's possible, can I get them to like move in front of the forged mm -hmm. faces? like to catch attention and then move them away you can't to basic roll the same thing before. <laughs> for fuck's sake this is the tree <laughs> i was like what the fuck is that <laughs> okay let me help you there's more nice. tree colors um roll for me a deception Where is it? Uh, there it is. Fourteen. Yeah, no, I'd say I allow them. They are immediately confused and confounded by your um, your dancing lights that swirl around, and they focus moves from there. And you can see them. You can hear their strained robotic groans and um, roars as they try to like it almost intimidate the, uh, the dancing fires as they're reaching out to try and grasp onto them I guess yeah can I sort of lead them that way which, which way would you like sorry this, the, to the yes. right mm -hmm. sorry I, I wasn't looking at that side of the map that's all right <laughs> yeah no yeah you can yeah <laughs> It is anything else you want to do on your time? Uh, no, I'm gonna chill out here. <laughs> no worries. Kiko is gonna not help with the distractions, but she's gonna try and uh... she's gonna cast magic missile at those three. And you see her like just hum again, and she's like, this time it's a lot more. She is able to focus more, and you can um, the magic missiles impale into these two. Um, well, not these two, sorry. Into the, the one that's uh, in front of you, Lothby Boy, as you see, like, this pink crystalline dart just uh, whistle over, uh, pierce into that one, and, like, it just collapses uh, in front of you. Uh, this one goes to reach over and try to pull at the uh, the one that has just collapsed. Uh, but that one gets hit by a dart itself as well. And so does the other one. But both just kind of groan as they take on... Um, the impalement of the uh, the pink crystal darts are still that glimmer as they're within the uh, the green metal chases of uh, these these uh, robots. And Kiko is uh, kind of like frozen in place because she doesn't want to move forward, but she wants to move away. So you just see her just kind of like a, a scooch behind you, and then try like uh, and like say we should we should hop off the conveyor belt. I think that's probably gonna do. <laughs> Roll for me a deck save. What me? Yes. Oh. As you are able to get off just in time, as you see the conveyor belt begin to move.
this move the, like the panning moves so fast sometimes like i'm trying to be like all dramatic and like cinematic with it and it's like oh just go to the other side of the map please no. but yeah uh, kiko doesn't do anything katsumi she just like kind of gets ready um seeing kira in her situation but also seeing that, like katsumi is like wanting to get uh covered you just see katsumi just like kind of just like pull in uh the young elf and just like hold on to her as like she's just ready and like she just looks at you and just gives you a nod um as uh, she focuses all her attention on the hag at the other end all four of me give a thumbs up <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, it is Kira's turn. And Kira just wildly swings at the one. That's no wrong attack. Oh, I'm a, bring the longbow back. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm do that. I'm gonna I'm let that roll over. Uh, but yeah, so it would hit. And she's just like her great club smashes into the warforge and just explodes into pink crystalline dust. As like the Warforge essentially explodes upon impact, and she turns to look at this one, and then just like you hear her just say, and she just turns uh, or just like says to you, "Love my boy, I'm gonna go after the hag." Oh, you sure it has to be now? If it ain't now, it will be never. As you, as, and as not. she says that, as you, she just sees you nod, you see she turns into pink crystal for a moment and explode into dust uh, of glimmering crystals as she teleports onto the conveyor belt. She just skates her way over to um, the hag. Oh no. But as she just just appears in a puff of crystalline uh, smell, uh, smell, she tries skating her way over, but like all the just like metal and debris all over the, um, all on the conveyor belt just like completely uh, just take her uh, by surprise and she just gets thrown off of her skateboard and just like lands onto the ground prone. It is now. And she just like, you just see her just look up uh, Lonely Club, you can't see her expression. Lo-Fi Boy, it's your turn. Um, you do hear Kiko mutter, oh no, when, uh, when she falls. Yeah. I think I, I try to just uh, directly go from here to there. Mm -hmm. You will get attack with opportunity. Yeah. You just scoot her along. Yeah. Scoot, scoot. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Lo-Fi Boy? I didn't want to roll into the Lo-Fi Boy, so a torch I can attack. Twenty-three hit. Okay. Yeah, he does. As you're scooting away, you just get smacked in the back of the head oh. by a heavy metal arm that kind of like just dinks into you, and you feel it scratch okay. against your plate armor as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, or my metal parts, because I don't have any armor. <laughs> yeah. You're chasing. Uh. Yeah. 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 Um. I would, oh, actually, I would, I would, I want to do this, I want to cast, uh, this, uh, wait, do I have it here, did we not include it, oh no, it's here, yeah, it is, at the basket hag. Okay. Do you have to touch? No, 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 mm -hmm. it's, uh... Yeah, if you want to roll damage. That hits her. I, I 
try to change it to chill bloom so that we we um i, I renamed it chill touch from chill bloom um mm -hmm. as I a like flavor it. and uh yeah Describe. also like it, it it helps remember that it's not a touch spell yeah so um um what i'd like to imagine is that like basically low five more like imagines like uh a white flower lily kind of like growing and like from the like especially with like having felt like the evil of uh the white uh the white sorry the, the back the basket hag i kind of want to replicate that same energy and have like a bad vibe yeah <laughs> Take wow. shape into a, a white spider lily. Um, Under like that grows underneath her. Uh, usually it's like a hand that like. I think it'd be cool like, if like the petals. On the person. If yeah. it, like uh, some white spider lilies that kind of grow underneath her and like, consume. That'd uh, be cool. That's what I'd like to imagine as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, as you do that, uh, so yeah, you command the flowers essentially to like kind of grow with your uh. <clears throat> And as like you pour energy into that, you see a white spidery bloom on the conveyor belt underneath it and grow upwards and consume into that like kind of enclose around the hag. As you can see, all the flowers on the conveyor belt are like around uh, the hag and you're that, like, in a line in between you and the hag, which I forgot to mention are all like a lot of the flowers in this entire uh, map are jasmine flowers. I forgot to mention. Um, you notice a lot of them were jasmines. And as you see these jasmines, uh, when you cast a spell, all of them turn to uh, white spider lilies for a moment <sighs> to then suddenly turn black and die. As you see the spider lily begin to glow green from within as the hag just like cuts a port. You see a sc her scissors cut into the spider lily, cut away around it as the spider lily turns from white uh, to like glowing green to black and die. As you see the hag just revel in this magical energy that swirls around it. You dare think you could do such evil magics to me? There's nothing evil giving you a taste of your own medicine. Ah, but that's what it is to me. Medicine. Think like a child. Maybe I should take you with me too. Uh, uh, no, Getting no, owned okay. by the basket hack. You hear Kira just shout from from the combo. Idiot! I, I Don't cast anything no I didn't know. Idiot! Stupid! Mm. And I said he other things. Maybe I should have been more specific. <laughs> if it's combat, he doesn't. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I moved. I no, I guess. Okay, fine then. As a uh, bonus action, I, I just I, I spout. <laughs> I don't know. I pop. Like, there's nothing I can do, really. You're all good. Just punching. <laughs> Smack it in the face! <laughs> Anything else you want to do, sorry? I wish, but not the thing that I can do. That That's the end of my turn. Cool. It is now her turn. Oh no. <laughs> mm. Well, I'd lo I'd like to play more with you, you stupid cold one. But <laughs> my attention moves to Miss Langaban right now. I think, as you see Miss Langaban, as you see her finger point outwards towards Kira. Um, but you see, in one hand she forms uh, the one that's holding the Katsumi. Uh, um, mannequin. Uh, she puts it in between, um, 
uh, in basically in essentially her armpit as she holds her there um she forms a ball of like thundery crystal um green fire and then just launches it up at the ceiling creating a flash of green as it hits into what um a giant forged being that hovers oh. or is um chained to the ceiling suspended if i put this on the map for you guys uh you see the chains burn away as this giant hulking beast just falls from the ceiling and crashes into the conveyor belt throwing almost everything on it off of it and crushing where it uh, collapsed into as you can see like it's chases is similar to or chassis is similar to the um the other warforged but you notice that like it's got like um where on like the side of its face is just like, one half is complete crystal while and like on the one arm is crystalline as well and like vines the vines outgrow this compared to the other ones and like it just when the green fiery uh lightning magic hits this beast you see it all its exhaust just like burst with uh, magic as when it collapses to the ground you see that turn to fire and just power and energy as it just roars uh creating a shaking um a ground shaking roar that uh you all just like kind of like feel from beneath your feet and the hag then just before she, and then uh, like as she like points at kira um you just see she just casts a giant crystal um green beam similar to kira's uh towards uh the tiefling if i roll to do the things plus it didn't roll the stuff which is annoying Sorry, I have to quickly like make it essentially. So in theory that should work. And it just like you see uh, this green um, beam of um, energy smash into Kira. And it just like envelops her as like it turns to crystalline dust as well. Similar to hers, but green and like uh, neonish green. And she just like looks at me in shock as all her like uh you see this on katsumi and kiko as well the jewelry that they wear um that is similar to kira's the, the pink uh, crystals all turn green for a flash of a second and um you just see you hear katsumi and uh, uh kiko just mutter oh no under their breath from like everything that's just happened all within like the, the like within these seconds as the hag then begin snipping at the air again and you can just see like she just cuts as she walks in a line further down um out of the cave the forge however that is in the back isn't gonna bother with you guys anymore as the dancing lights are taking up a lot of its energy as it hulks and just lurches its way towards them swiping at the fire hoping that like it'll be able to consume them But now it's low Nico's turn. <laughs> I don't think I got enough dancing lights for this thing. <laughs> well, I guess I'll just move this one around the corner. move one of the dancing lights for the little guy to follow and then extinguish the other two mm -hmm. and because I can have five at once so <laughs> yeah, you can summon more if you'd like yeah I'm going to use my action to keep that one 
over there and have basically the culmination of the rest of the floor into a larger just one. And I'm just gonna stick it in front of its face. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, and hope for the best. Oh, I clicked on it, so dragging it. There we go. It's all good. Uh, I'm just gonna change the emotions of Katsumi into shock. For a second. Also, thank you, Raiders. You, you guys are all stars. Uh, I hello appreciate the raid and all the, the support you guys give. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, I'm we're not uh, fully paying attention to chat. We're in a pretty quite climax climactic boss fight right now. Uh, but yes, I'm going to have a slightly bigger dancing light so it's all the other four can't wait together and hopefully I'm just going to wave it in front of its face. <clears throat> when you do that, you want to make it big, did you say? Yeah, so it's like a it's a bigger one because it's four. Yay! <laughs> when it, it just follows the dancing lights as you begin to like do in a very methodical almost like stop motiony as it does so. Focusing on that. I would like to add when it crashed into the ground also, like a lot of its body kind of collapsed in on itself. And it like it just like is like just a slump of like metal in on the conveyor belt. But like that like the head is moving and like it kinda is like Hold is like still like humanoid in shape. I guess does it look like it would be able to get off on this? this side? You're unsure and you don't want to know and you don't want to find. Oh, out. okay. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll just move move it this way and I hope it kind of follows it just a little bit off the conveyor belt. Um. Oh, sorry, the last bit. Uh, just like move it, kind of try yeah. and lead it this way a bit mm-hmm. off the conveyor belt. Norris, no is you are all good though? It is now. Anything else? Uh, for now, no. <laughs> Kiko is gonna try and help you, but I, I don't, I don't have dancing lights. Um, but I got this, maybe. As she just starts whistling and humming as you see it form into fire. Um, that is not fun because it doesn't show the AC. Beautiful. <laughs> Let's do this. Sorry, give me a second. Yeah, as like it just forms fire, you see the um, it launches. Uh, she she whistles and like as she's whistling, it's like moving towards the um, the, the 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 forge. But as soon as like it like enters within Kira's range, you can see that like there's still cr- that green crystalline dust as it's just essentially like kind of impact uh, the impact happened. And like as soon as it enters in the range, you see the fire just kind of like flicker out and like burst outwards. Anything else? Oh, sorry, it's Kiko, so I'm stupid. <laughs> you see, you can see Kiko's like trying to like want to move away, but like uh, Katsumi just morning, it's okay, 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 it's okay. Stay here, she says to Kiko. <laughs> As she then uh, skates over on her wheels and jumping onto the conveyor belt, she just tries to throw a punch. Uh, down into the body of the uh, the um, the mass of metal, and you just hear her like you you like you you know how fast she is and how like powerful she is, and assume but like it's strange seeing like it almost feels like it's in slow motion when she enters within the crystalline dust, and you can see that um, when the chain uh, not the chain sorry when she punches into the Hulk and lands onto the conveyor, but you see her like prosthetics just they don't move as fast and like although they still sound like bullets and rockets when they hit into the body of the the forged, there is no dent, there is no impact, there is no there was as if like she didn't even like um throw herself into the forge just then. And you can just You can't see how she reacts, but then uh Kira then gets up. Um, 
and you can see her trying to summon her um her crystal club but she is struggling and love where you can just about see through like the 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 mess of people and uh forged uh you can just see kira's expression go from like sh uh, like she looks almost pink in how pale she is as uh, she is just unable to summon her um her club and you just see her like almost step back and you just can lonely you can just hear her like almost a like, whimper uh katsumi as um as she's trying to like as she's walking back she's still just trying to summon it she just can't must any of the energy so she does nothing love your turn all right i'm going to uh move 20 feet normally um over actually i'll move 25 feet over here and I want to cast. I can't have used it already. Oh wait, <laughs> have I? Wait, wait, wait. I don't remember if it's just I never put the spell slot or not. Uh, have I cast Entangled yet, Kaz? You have not. I haven't. No. Okay, okay, good. I just never didn't put the the slot. Uh, I want to cast Entangle. Uh, on. Over, it's a 20 foot square. I want to cast it slightly in front of the basket hag, um, mm -hmm. just to encapture her at the edge so that if she frees herself from it, she still have to go through the difficult terrain. Yeah. Uh... So, she would need to do, uh, since she's in the area, she would need to do a strength saving throw. Alright. As you describe what it looks like to me. Well, since uh, we did the thing with the chill touch before, uh, mm. I can imagine one of the petals that were left suddenly, like, uh, shifts from the blackness of the... Uh, uh, necrotic to uh, kind of like alive again into green and like spreading like kind of like flowing in the air and then touching the ground and then roots kind of like just exploding from that and like trying to grab at everything around it give me a brief second repeat that last bit sorry oh. again. yeah um I want to say, uh, it will try to grab at everything around it, mm. so it will try to grab the basket case, but also the fake mannequin. mannequin yeah. Well, the mannequin won't have a spell I... So then the mannequin would be entangled. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Was it, you wanted to ask, like, was it still more spiderly, sorry, or... or um... I can't remember if you know Oh, the, the actual uh, weeds and vines? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd like it to be a continuation of that for sure. Yeah. Alright, yeah. You yeah, you fought, you cause a bunch, you muster up the energy and the magical ability to summon just a field, a small field of like uh, spider, white spider leaves that push themselves out of the ground uh, amongst all the stone. Um, and like some of the jasmines, again, turn into. Uh, white spider lilies and as they just like form into long spidery tendrils that wrap around the basket hag what was the spell save uh it's a 12 12 she's able to just like tear at it ripping herself away from it but you can see the mannequin is latched on and she's like, trying to grab at the mannequin trying to keep it in her grasps and you can see the around uh the the entanglement uh is like latching onto uh, some of the shiseki stones and some of the um and some of the jasmines and turning them into more and the vines and like that's adding to the entire entanglement and it just grows more and more powerful and you can see it doesn't spread but you can see that the flowers are like they feel like they're like becoming a lot more powerful 
but you can't see the fruits of your labor just yet. Anything else? Uh, and that's a concentration spell, so uh, I just turn around and say, like, uh, Kira, like, I know you're far away, but I, I, I won't be going away just now. There's still a chance. And to the basket gate, uh, hag, um, I'd scream, like, well, these ones aren't medicine, and I'd have just one of the smallest little vine, kind of like, uh, like, um, hit her in the face, like, very softly. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. Bitch just, yeah, like just slap in the gas. Yeah, just slap in the gas. So you could have basket case on You did, it. yeah. Which is fair. Oops. It's fair. The playlist is called Basket Case for her. Like, Oops. When... And I just realized the low putting dancing lights in front of these robots is like a cat and a laser. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Um, you just see the basket hag just like pulling itself away uh, from the entanglement. And as she's like doing that, you see she begins to glow green again. And as she begins to glow green, you see Kira, uh, her jewelry begins to glow green and the chains wrapped around her. Um, their glow seems to be the brightest. And same with the ones on Kiko and Katsumi. Um, as, as the basket hag then like um, surges, you see sh she pulls out a beam out of the ground. And then like you just see her like just like push it. And as it's like pushing, she drags it basically it feels like she's like dragging it through the air towards you lo-fi boy rough me a con save con save interesting as you like see the ground burn as she's like trying to um drag this towards you in a way i don't know like yeah, like, if the entanglement can, like, throw off her aim, like... Yeah, I could describe it, yeah. What... As, like, yeah. she's trying, like, drag pushing it and dragging it through the air, the entanglements are pulling her arm, so, like, as it's, like, moving towards you, you see, like, it would, like, continue to just get like, pushed, pulled aside and pushed aside, and it just about kind of, like, just gets you, but it's burning into uh, the conveyor belt. You can see the conveyor belt and the flowers that are there are all dying within its uh, range. And the ones that like got caught by the yokai beam on you also burn and die away. And you get that same sensation of evil filling your body as it uh, consumes you. Alright. Yeah, where are we? If I... Mr. Roboto. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so yeah, and she then she is trying to pull herself through the entanglement and trying to grab it onto the um the uh, what's it called the the entangled um mannequin unable to pull it out of her grasp but she's struggling to like get across so she's only able to get like here so i'm about to get there and we're gonna go over to big big forged still focusing on your light that you've cast, um, uh, Lonely Co. You see, just with one hand though, it just swings wildly. That is not how it would work. That was goofy <laughs> as hell. Beautiful. <laughs> you made me look foolish. It swings, pulling itself up and like swings that arm at Katsumi. If I pull the thing up. Eighteen. That hits. As Katsumi just gets like this uh, uh, heavy wolf foot just like thrust into her, uh, its arm into her as it's trying to pull itself up. You can see its entire body kind of like uh, align itself back into that humanoid, sh uh, that true humanoid shape. Um, and the conveyor belt in front of Katsumi is just shattered as it does so. And like you can see with its like 
grassy hand, it tries to create like a whip that like swirls around the fire. As um, what's the word? As it tries to grasp on it, and like as it touches the fire, you see its green fire and white green fire turn to red fire. And as it turns to red fire, the white green fire begins to start glitching, um, and the crystals begin to start rippling. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second. Um, just to be sure, since Entangle is a concentration spell and Wheels is also a concentration spell, uh, I wouldn't have the wheels anymore, right? Uh, you don't need to concentrate on wheels. Kira's the only one that does. Oh, to be oh, fair, your wheels okay. have all dropped. They only dropped. Kira's concentration only dropped when. Um, after she took an Eldritch Blast. Oh, okay, okay. Just give me a second. You can see as like it grabs onto the fire, uh, the crisps begin to ripple, and as they begin to ripple, they turn blue. And as they turn blue, you see frost form all over the ch um, this side of the uh, the forged body, and then just consume, and it just continues focusing onto the fire. It is now. The forge is like left the building as it's chasing the fires. Lonely, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. Um. I guess I'm gonna move it away. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just yep, yep. I'm just gonna move it down to the corner, and I'm gonna go and slap Kira on the leg, or wherever I can reach. Mm -hmm. um, you can reach. And it kill me. You, when you touch her, she's extremely cold. But then she immediately becomes warm again. Kiko? Thank you, Kiki, she just says. Before, uh, she doesn't look at you. She's still just focusing on, but like when you when you do that, um, she just says that. Uh, I'm just gonna be like, that's what I've got left. Kiko <laughs> <laughs> is running on empty. <laughs> Stay back. Stay, stay back. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Kiko is now gonna come rushing behind. And then she is gonna uh, cast a spell. She's gonna cast a true strike. Oh, it's her turn. Never mind. I wanted to pass True Strike onto someone else. <laughs> uh, she then just she instead just starts casting Earth, Earth and Grasp. Uh, Loniko, you see, um, this doesn't come from her. Um, she doesn't hum when she makes cast the spell. Um, <clears throat> but the forged. Um, but as like you see the Earth around. Uh, turn into pink crystals uh, that turn into a giant hand that try to grasp onto the um onto uh the forged is it constitution save or wisdom It fails, and you see the pink crystals crush inwards on um, on the uh, the forged. If I roll the damage, I forgot to do that. I didn't need to roll the damage, did I? Oh no, I did. Interesting. Well, I don't know why it didn't work. Sorry about that. Eight. As you can see, where it, like it crushes one of the legs. And it like struggles to hold itself up as it's like just trying to like pull itself out of the grasp. But then K uh, Kiko, uh, Kiko just smiles at you and Katsumi then goes to throw a punch at the uh, the grasped leg. 
Or she'll actually just find a key point and do flurry blows and then a slash with the raise. This time she's able to muster all her energy and is able to get one punch in and one slash in, but the other punch is just like bounces off. And you can just hear the sound of slashing water and air as uh, she slashes and punches, um, creating a cut into the uh, the forged armor. And you can see within is just like a tanglement of vines uh, and um, what wire and rope and uh, crystals. It is now Kira's turn. Kira's still kind of in shock as she's still trying to summon her club. But she just isn't able to. But like, with like Love Fiber with your words, kind of like getting her back into like, out of her trance. And she turns uh, to see both of you and then just gives you both a nod and says thank you again. Um... You hear see her hop off and no longer on the skateboard because her wheels broke. So she just tries rushing past the forge towards um towards the hag. It is now. Love boy, your turn. Okay. Um I'd like I guess you see her running, uh I, I kind of like nod at her, run towards this place, um, and like, I know there's nothing I can do other than concentrate on this spell, so the only thing in my concentration that I will do is like, just try to have uh, you can the... still do things, like you can still attack while concentrating. I can? Yeah. Yeah, you just can't cast another concentration spell. Yeah, and oh. when you get hit, you have to be concentrated. I didn't know! Sorry, I, I was on me, I, I should have said something. No, 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 it's okay. Um, I take out my head axe and I try to throw it at her. Go ahead. Uh, let me just, cause that would be a dex instead of strength if I throw, right? It should, if you roll it as normal attack, it should allow. I don't think it'll, well, let's see if it checks your... Sure. <laughs> Doesn't even matter. We just changed these uh, plus five to whatever your dex is. Um, yeah, yeah. But yeah, you just like pick up your hand axe and you just immediately drop it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I didn't even know I could use it mm. so i feel like it's like perfectly in character yeah as like um, you then... sorry Ron. <laughs> the thing that i was going to describe though is that i'm trying to invoke the power of the shiki stones around uh or having the 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 entanglement trying to pull at the shiki stones uh, that are around even stronger because i know that like sometimes mm. they roll they kind of like Echo, or they, they, there's a rippling effect sometimes, so... There's... Roll for me... A D100. And then Arcana. You, with your knowledge of Shiseki Stones and your research that you've done, you, you feel like you, like, can, like, you've, you know that, like, you can command a Shiseki Stone to basically enact this magic. Sometimes it does need a keyword or a command word, but sometimes you are able to, like, just tip, just tap into something that's raw, especially when it's raw. You're able to just, like, just get into it. And this time you are. And you feel... As you do this, you feel a rippling uh, effect that waves through the entire, um, throughout the entire chambers. Loniko, you feel filled back with magical energy and regain a spell slot for each uh, tier of spell you have. So if you, I think you only have like uh, one and two, so you gain uh, level one and level two spell slot back. And so do Kira and uh, Katsumi and uh, Kiko, and you. When you glance back at them, you see that like the flashes of green in their um, in their crystal jewelry stops. It becomes pink again. 
Um, and the yokai also looks like it's surging with more power. And so does the the Warforged. It begins to exhaust more energy. Uh, and like that, as the fire builds up. And then... Fly too small. Yeah. And now it just feels like... The rippling... Instead of... Lashing out aggressively, it's more so just exhausted the magic it had within it and pushed itself out to everything else. So even you, Lola Boy, you'd gain back the entanglement and chill touch spell back. And you feel, yeah, you feel you're able to magically, um, you're able to push out more energy again. Anything else? Uh, would that have been an action? No, I'd, I'd say bonus action. With with, it, with its effect, I'd, I'd, I'd put it a bonus action. Uh, okay, one thing, that was super cool. <laughs> like, bro, like, uh, then, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, with Entangle back, I, I would, um, I would, uh, uh Entangle again, um, mm -hmm. like, uh, the, the, the extra same strategy in front. Yeah. And also tangling the, the, the mannequin. <laughs> As you try to entangle her again, she once again just starts ripping at the roots and yeah. the, um, the, um, the, 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 the spider leaves. It's like they move, they kind of like die, the ones that are like out of range, but they more grow mm -hmm. and form. And, and the um, and the um, and the ones that are, like are attached to the crystals, those kind of like the ones like the magic that was surging within them bursts. Uh, roll me another d hundred if you could. As like yeah, you know, it's like the energy that like was they were holding within them just lashes out. And as that happened, you see the Mika Baba's uh, eyes. You can see like the yellow pupils just flashing and moving, skittering around as they normally would when they're looking at things. And they're all focused on you. And then she blinks, which is very strange because you've never seen a yokai blink before. And now it's just pure black. And you just hear her low hissing voice, agitated and in shock. What did you do? Where? Where are you? What have you done to my sight? Why? How dare? I don't need to see though to still feel you. It is now. I, I voluntarily did not answer because I don't want her to echolocate me. <laughs> it doesn't matter because she just throws out an eldritch blast actually nah yeah she just throws out an eldritch blast in your general direction does 18 hit no, is you able to sidestep? But Kira isn't. As soon as she just gets within <gasps> range, she gets hit by the um, the Eldritch Blast, and it just smashes into her. And you hear her like body get like thrown against wood as she just collapses into it. And Loniko, you can just about see like the flash of her pink crystals become green again. Fused. And you feel, give me a second. As you feel like the yokai beam that was behind you, just like moving around, skittering and jittering as it's trying to follow you, but like it can't seem to like lash onto you and just stops there. As she continues to uh, make her way out 
of the cave, crawling and like feeling the ground as she's moving. This time she hasn't got the mannequin. It is now the forge's turn. And I've done that thing again where I launch myself to the other side of the map. The forge is going to pick itself <laughs> up and then move towards the fire. Again, attack of opportunity against Katsumi, but it's gone to, uh, uh, just a wildly swing at Katsumi again anyway. As Katsumi goes like punch at it, it like look like it looks like it like the board almost throws its own fist back, and then both their fists clash, and you can just see Katsumi's face just like turn like you can see her purple stone skin turn like a pale white, as you can feel that she has not done what she wanted to do, and she is, it's like when you hit your elbow onto something oh. that you don't expect, and you just feel her body like she feel like she looks like she's frozen. And you can just see her just turn and like she's like biting on her lips in pain and just grimacing and just cringing at the feeling that uh, that felt like or the feeling that that was to then suddenly get flung as she gets um, nine damage and launched off the con conveyor belt. And then the vines entangling onto you or onto... Um, on the fire turn. Oh, that wasn't an happen. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake, it keeps doing it. <laughs> Where's it, his head going? <laughs> it turns to you, Lo-Fi Boy. Seeing that, like, and it just roars in your general direction. And you can see its crystals begin to ripple once more as you feel white spider lilies form from underneath you. Roll for me. A what's uh what save was it? Oh no, it's not a save. Is it this? This just it's not a save. It gets you, yeah. Oh then, yeah, you get white spider leaves just cut, uh, grow out of the ground upwards of you, and like this feels different. This feels like more chaotic and more wild, but you feel not familiar, but like it's. It feels like what raw magic feels like uh, th that you've like felt from the stones and the walls around you. Uh, what do I roll to maintain concentration? Intelligence for me, please. Is it a save? Yeah. Yes. No, it's just straight up intelligence. Oh yeah, no, yeah, you're. Wait, save? Wh which one actually? Roll. Oh, there's a save. Sorry. Yeah, roll save it. Uh -huh. Either roll. Yeah. You ah. break your concentration. Your entanglement dies. All the spider leaves just die immediately. I still don't want to say anything because I still like. Yeah, you don't want to uh, attract your attention. No, but yeah, that's cool, Cal. <laughs> I'm very scared. Good. It is Kiko your turn. Uh, no, sorry, Kiko. Sorry, Lo Nico. What's this fella doing? <laughs> it's looking at Lo-Fi Boy, so it's got his head turned, but it's also like attacking Katsumi, just w wildly like waving its arms. Okay. Um... Kira's over here, isn't she? She's not looking great. Yeah. Um, I'm going to... Misty step. I just gotta figure out. I think I have to move something. Um, it isn't focusing on you, so you can move into like its range. If that helps. Okay. That does help. I'm just figuring out if I can actually get to them. Well, you want to see like? Let me let's 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 calculate. I think you'd need sixty feet, unless like you're using your action to dash. Yeah, but if I do that, I can't cast. Yeah, you can't. But you could get within range. That would get you within range. That's true. Um, um, 
Okay, I'll do it anyway. Um, I had Tokiko to go on the other side of the conveyor belt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then Be I'm safe. going to Misty Step, or well, run up and then Misty Step. Mm. That's interesting that you do that because when Wild says when you do that, you felt for a moment when like because like, this would happen as like uh, Kiko was earth and grasping, I'd say, or just as it's dropping. Um, mm. The grasp that was on, like when that was being held, when you begin to misty step, you felt like a resonation between the two. There was like mm -hmm. so, like it, there was some kind of, like they connected. If that makes sense, um, one part of the same music is one way I'd put it, or a different part of the same music. Um, but as you misty step out, uh, Kiko looks at you, and then just gives you a smile. Anything else? Um, I guess I might as well use a dash to get next to Kira because I can't do mm -hmm. anything else. Uh, but I can use my bonus action to move this behind the tree, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna chill out next to Kira now and be like, I will heal you in yeah. a hot second. She is awake. Um, she looks at you and just like is like very pale. Thank, th thank you. And then Kiko is gonna do a turn. And you wanted her to get into the other side of the conveyor belt, did you? Yeah, basically mm -hmm. over here. So. Yeah. As she as she does it, you hear her whistling and humming. As you feel um, her music wrap around you, and you have body inspiration as she just clambers <gasps> over. The conveyor belt and gets to the other side. Oh my god! I've never had it before. No. <laughs> you got this, little Nico. Thank you. Four thumbs up. Mm. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Katsumi's gonna do her turn, and she is. She's gonna try once more uh, to get the war forged and spend a key point. Uh, who sends it next as well? Uh, Loth will get your turn ready as well. None of those hit. She just can't seem to get this one, and she just like is just struggling. And you see her just, and then she sees Kiko like dash over the uh, conveyor belt. She decides that, yeah, it's, there's no point. Um, and she just dash, uh, jumps up, uh, skating across. She will need to make a deck save. And again, attack of opportunity as she tries to make it to the other side. As she gets over and then grabs onto Kiko's hand. Uh, she gets attacked though by the crystal point as it just swings a viney finger at her which is able to just kind of block it with her prosthetic arm and you just hear it clash into her metal it is now Kira's turn and Kira's gonna get up and then she just is gonna like just give you like a pat on the shoulder and then she casts You see her just outstretch her arm and she attempts to cast Shatter as the ground underneath the Mika Baba turns a pink crystalline um, into a giant pink crystal and then just like implode in on itself and going down, pushing downwards. Um, she will have to make a con save. As Kira casts Shatter. And she, she fails. So yeah, she uh, she gets pushed into the ground as like the shatter collapses in on her, but she's still clambering and crawling down. Silly girl, stupid girl. The the uh, the hag just hisses out at you all. It is is it a half damage if it, or is it a straight up fail? Roll uh, in. Or shattering. 
roll. Uh, is it what? Sorry, half damage. It is half damage. Yeah, right? yeah, for sure. Though. Yeah, because okay, she, okay. she 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 uh, she failed, so she took a fall damage. Oh, she just failed. Yeah. Oh dang. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Uh, right. Uh, hey, I'm going to um cast <laughs> like I guess one pick up the hand axe that I dropped earlier. <laughs> uh, that would be a free action, so you're all good. Yeah, and then I cast uh just there's nothing I can do for the I can track. Wait, wait, wait. What's the distance? Sorry, sorry. You're good. I was like thinking how I could do two things at the same time and I just got the idea now. Okay, mm. yeah. I'm gonna run 30 feet and to as silently as I can towards um, the basket hag. Roll stuff. But turn okay. And turn around and actually cast Chill Bloom um and stealth. On the oh yeah, the stealth is uh, yeah. She, you see, but, like her head, her eyes are still black, but she still turns to you. I, I hear you. You're up there, and you see her point one spindly <laughs> finger. Well, you see, you do I notice one of her other fingers is pointing at Kira, as well, while she's still pointing at you. Going to uh, still cast Chill Bloom uh, towards the the forged entity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Into the... That hits. Oops, sorry. No, you good. All right. As you do that, you the white spider leaves bloom in between the vines amongst a bunch of jasmine uh flowers as well that are growing on the uh on the on the forge and like as it as your white spider blooms you see that the vines that are there all turn black and char and decay as the blue as the spider kind of like turns black and in on itself as it kills some of the plants that are growing on its body and it, you just see the that one like vine just drop to the ground is there any specific uh, part of the body you'd like to have cast it on? Well, being a forge myself, I would try to aim at its core, mm -hmm. where I imagine, yeah. it, like it being like in the middle of the chest. Yeah, kind of. you could like see like on the back of it, you could see like there's like holes for like where it's um, where these vines and wires were that have broken free, and so yeah, you could see those dying, and you can see where it kills at. You can see there is just a giant crystal uh, shiseki stone uh, inside it. And it just groans as like it uh, takes up. Anything else? Uh, mm, no, that was my action. Uh, I don't think. <sighs> no, nothing else for now. No worries. Well, it's the hag's turn, and the hag is knowing where you are is going to drag the yokai beam back and into your range. Did you rock me a con save? Was it wisdom? Let's check. Uh, are you going to roll for a con? All right. Yeah. But, but if it's wisdom, I'll roll wisdom. It might, it might be, it might, yeah, no, I think it's con. Yeah. You tell me when, what? Yeah, can't save. Okay. Mm. You... Could I... Oh. No, 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 no. I was going to ask if I'd be able to use silvery barbs. Um... You can, if it's a reaction. Yes. You can. Um... So, yeah. Uh... Hag gets disadvantage on this one. So leave it to roll again. Use the low one, I guess. Does that work for the spell? I don't know. Let's see. 
Magic You'd have to be, you'd only be able to, yeah. I think. Yeah, so yeah. you, no, but you'd be, I'd, like the way I describe yeah. it, because it's going full off, my boy, so you can like have it like, mm. like these silvery barbs pull away. What do you, how would you have to describe your silvery barbs? It doesn't need to be silver. <laughs> um, I guess it would be like, um, I guess like little sort of fiery spider lilies would start to swirl where the magic is, mm -hmm. um, and they would sort of act like her bardic inspiration and land on Mofly Boy, and then, yeah, kind of like suck the power out of the spell, I guess. Yeah. And then land on Mofly Boy to give mm -hmm. him All advantage. Right. <laughs> so yeah, Lofo, you get advantage on the next turn in the next minute. If you want to, you can roll it on this con save if you'd like to. You don't need to if you don't want to. Just give me a second. Uh, I would do it now. Because you do succeed already. Oh, okay, so. then I wouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, you get like these eights. Like, you just... As like you're doing... Wait. Sorry, go on. That was succeeding? Oh, Oh, no, like, yeah, you, you still take half damage. Wow, okay. Yeah, you, um, as like, as you see the yokai beam coming within range, um, and being dragged against the, the ground, you essentially brace yourself. And, but like, Loniko, you just get within range to see this happening, and then you, how, like, how are you casting? Like, uh, you jingling, you. Uh, uh, I'll play a little bit. You just, yeah, you begin playing your little ditty, and like as like that's the time you see the fire turn to music. I mean, the music turn to fire, and just form into spider leaves that circle around Lo uh, Lofi Boy and catch the yokai beam as it comes down, and like one big giant like fiery spider leaf kind of becomes a shield over him. But like in between the uh, the uh, the gaps of the petals, he still takes some of the damage. Um, but that that once like it consumes the uh, that one um the yokai beam it turns into one little uh, flower that falls onto um uh, 1080's face <laughs> and kira just like looks down at you lonely kind of like you're you're, you're very smart <laughs> you're, you're you're a smart kid um anything else uh lofi boys your turn because uh, that was uh, that was uh, lonely reaction <laughs> Uh, wasn't that the, the the end of the basket of hacks? Oh, was it the basket hacks one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, she pulls a, a yokai beam down on you, but as she's doing that, she's crawling away, still pointing at you, and you can just see her fingers in like the shadows, like still co she's covered in bits of pink crystal dust, as like the sunlight um, hits her skin, and you just see she begins to like cut at the air again, frantically this time. As she steps out onto the cove ahead, as the uh, you can just about see the um, the sky beginning to turn a orangey pink, uh, that, while her silhouette is crawling through it. It is now the forged uh, being's turn, and it, this time it tries to grab. Uh, Lonely cause uh, dancing with fire again with its other arm or with its actual arm and tries to eat it and I assume dancing fire doesn't like resist but like I if you want to you can try and resist it by casting charisma or by using charisma um. <laughs> casting charisma <laughs> <laughs> also Sam yeah no. I'll, I'll uh, have a go At, uh, straight charisma yep Mm-hmm, no worries. It's 21. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as it tries to consume the fire this time, I'm going to instead, it's going to lash out. It tries holding onto the fire. Um, and it's roaring as it's trying to eat it. And like as it begins to consume the fire, you see all its crystals turn red and begin to ripple. 
as the white fire now and the green fire turns red begin to begin to glitch aggressively as it shrieks and roars and it almost feels like it's like kind of like uh is unable to contain all the energy that's like now inside of it um so it's gonna take it takes a bit of damage from eating your fire and then like it's just like as like that fire is just burning out of it it turns its body and begin making its way further down Lumbering that was so scary itself. when you oh my god <clears throat> when you moved all the body parts together that was like so scary i'm glad <laughs> It is now, it, but it ain't gonna do anything else. It's now low your turn. I'm just gonna look at it a bit like. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna slap Kira with a good old level 2 cure wounds. I guess that's 12 total? That is, yeah. She, her face becomes bright red as she didn't expect you to like just heal her. And like she just, she, she can't form words in like this one moment. And she just looks at you with a shocked expression. And I'm just gonna point behind me. <laughs> oh. She gives you a smile. And then she looks at the at the at the the warforged, and like when um, when you do, when you heal her, you notice as well that green her crystals that were green again turn back to pink. And it is now. Anything else you want to do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, just not sure where I'm going. Here we go. So I can get closer to Lothar boy in case he, uh, you know, he's gonna just slap him. <laughs> <laughs> The good kind of. <laughs> yeah. I'm not done. No, it is Kiko's turn. And it is going to be Katsumi. So I'm going to have them both move together. Kiko casts a wheel on herself and she begins to skate. And them two together start hold they're holding hands and skating. As they're just making their way as down as fast as they can. get about here because they don't want to dash well K Katsumi gets an extra 10 uh, but K uh, Kiko would get here and Katsumi would get a bit closer oh we can dash yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have thought about that earlier but anyways it's all good it's, it's all good uh, Kiko seeing um, Kira and then hums and gives her like a melody as well and casts Spotting Inspiration on her. And Kira, you can just see Kira give like a faint, weak smile to her as well and gives her a nod. And you can see she's slightly crying in this one initial moment. And then turning to the Warforged, um, I'd like to imagine she would have went to hold your hand instinctively as you ran away, uh, Loniko. Because she was going to run away as well. Would you let her hold your hand? Yeah. <laughs> she will like it almost feel like you're running like pulling each other along. But as she gets within um just as, as she's as she's right here, you see her summon um not summon, sorry, you see her cast shatter again. As the ground beneath uh, the Warforge begins to shake and turn into a pink crystal. I'm going to roll the thing with the thing. It succeeds, but it only takes five damage. It's like the ground underneath it collapses and trips as it's trying to uh, lumber and chase after you guys. It is now your turn, Love by Boy. Okay, I'm going to throw this the, the statue. Where are you throwing it? Where? Yeah. Uh, I don't know what you asked me like with I'm... such surprise. Like, how am I meant to? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was just gonna throw it like up in the air. 
Oh yeah, you could talk to me if you want. I mean, like, if you're, uh, if I'm really choosing, I'm actually gonna throw it like at the base of this tree. But that's it. Mm -hmm. Well, as you do that, you see the stone come alive. As what erupts out of it is a large stone combiner that as soon as it forms it moves majestically uh you notice that like the green jade ball um that it was holding like it puts in its mouth and just holds onto it uh there and it just looks at you love white boy and you can see its eyes glint as it looks at you and then it um it just gets uh it's, it now has its turn is now on your turn sam really yes you now have a so come on i'm glad <laughs> i want to pet <laughs> take take the boy that's so cool you also have a character sheet for the come you can cast every spell it has from the come except for the cantrip It does. It has 40 feet of movement. Can I go towards it? You can. Does anything happen when I exit the thing? <laughs> when you what? When I exit the, the the ring, the... No, nothing happens. Okay, oof. That was my greatest fear. <laughs> you just died. Uh, is it like... <laughs> <laughs> that was keeping you alive. <laughs> Can I can I ride it? You can. It will it will get lower to let you mount it. Okay. Uh, I feel like you've clipped into the tree. Have you clipped into the tree, Sam? No, I haven't. Oh, uh, good. Have I? No, no, no. no I'm you're good. good. I'm good. He has a flying right. steed. He does. <laughs> he will fly steed. So... Oh, he does. <laughs> Low fi night. <laughs> <laughs> He's our knight in shining armor. <laughs> oh my god, oh, look, knight in shiny fucking plate or whatever the fuck he is. Like, yeah. just skin. Alright, um. Knight in shiny chasing. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, um. I need to ask that. We do. It would, like, in like three leaps, it would leap over up to here. <laughs> 40 feet of movement. <laughs> Mm -hmm. My man's, where are you going? <laughs> I don't know, where are we going? Has been hacked, escaped! I, I want to make sure Kiko's gonna be safe with us! Wait, yeah. actually, um, I, um, can I, instead of having moved there, moved a bit more in the, anyways, now nah, that's good enough, oh my god, the controls of this. Let's <laughs> pretend <laughs> my boy actually says that the controls of this yeah, like, like that. How do you control it? Where's the remote? How do you write what it means? To be fair, it is like uh, difficult because it is like very like bumpy and like the main of it is like the majority of its body. Okay, um. Uh. I'm going to. Oh, that's a. Okay, there are so many things that, like, it's going to be for the future to see. Uh, just, uh, the only thing I wanted to say is, like, uh, Kiko, like, you can hop on and we'll get out of here, or something. And, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and then, like, if I can take an action, it would just do, like, uh, the dot action I'm, yeah. i've never used that before you can, but you can use a dodge I, I, okay, okay you'd also I have like advantage on like any on on, on that dodge oh, not the dodge sorry on the actions like that you'd use after that because you have a minute um yeah while you do the dodge action you as you run away from the uh the exit you can still see the the yokai's uh did i say it went left or did i say it was still there i can't remember uh, you said like just went frantically cutting. Yeah. Uh... yeah, it's yeah, still just snipping at the air as it's going, but like you can see its silhouette getting smaller 
uh, as like amongst the um, the coast or the cove that is outside, and you can see the yokai beam just struggling and frantically moving as it's trying to like find a target, and like you can you can, it's doing its best, and like completely like Katsumi is able to like just side swerve it, but it hovers over Loniko for the briefest moment. And then as it like washes over low and it like almost like just natural magnetically latches towards Kira. But as it does so, it does get low Nico and it does get the Kamaino as well. If you could all uh, roll con saves for me. As a reaction. <laughs> um Oh that's not me. Yeah, it's not you. Oh sorry. Is I it... thought I could. Sorry. You yeah, notice. And could the Kamino roll us, uh, can't say for me, uh, Sam? Uh, sure. Uh... I, lo I love how you're luckily on the back of the Kamino, so you're safe. However, uh, Kira, um, kind of shrieks as she's just, like, surprised, like, taken by surprise completely. Um, and the Kamino also... Uh, gets hit with the uh, the yokai beam, and you can feel like when that happens, like the, the bits of the stone crumble under the, uh, the pressure of the spell. And lo, lo, you get like this wave of evil just wash over for you for a brief moment. Um, and you, but you only take two damage. So not two, sorry, three. But yeah. Um, that is all the things. And now he's going to make its way towards you, please. Give me a second, as I'm... It is, yeah. Um, yeah, like, and like that, as, as soon as that hits you guys, though, you see the beam just disintegrate into nothing. And then the creature just lurches its way towards you. And it looks like it has, like, a laser focus on you, Lo-Fi Boy. <coughs> as it tries to attack at you. Or the Kamainu, at least. As, and you would have a dodge, so you're able to dodge it. So it wouldn't even attack. So it just tries swiping at you. And then it would use its vines to try and lash onto you. Uh, onto the Kamainu. What's the Kamainu's AC? Uh... 15. 15? He is safe. Yeah, you are. It is now. Low Nico, your turn. It's my turn. Uh, this is next to Low Fight Boy, right? Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna go up to Low Fight Boy and I'm gonna slap him with a cure wounds. Go ahead. <laughs> my boy's. My boy's feeling so healed right now. Your flowers feel rejuvenated as if like sunlight. If they felt sunlight for the first time in that one initial moment, Lo Fi Boy. Uh -huh. As you feel lonely because a magic swirl around you like Just like a campfire as soon as like at, at the first um, at the first flare up after um, a winter's day. Amongst also daylight. But yeah. Anything else? Uh Yes, that was five feet, so I'm just gonna, gonna keep going this way. Go ahead. Kiko is also gonna follow suit. Wheeling over. She actually is able to dash, so she is gonna... No, she isn't, because she knows. Because as soon as she goes to, Katsumi stops her. <laughs> and then, like, Katsumi, like, just looks at you. You might want to wait a bit. As you can just about see through the, um, the, uh, like, amongst the, like, you can see the mannequin on the floor, and you can see just further up, um, on the cove, you can see the silhouette of, um, of what's it called? Of, um, the yokai. But as soon, like, as soon as you see the silhouette, it's just still scampering away. Uh, it looks like it's very frantic, and it doesn't know which direction it's going, and it keeps moving and changing. Paths. 
Katsumi in her current situation is just kind of like on edge, knowing that the hag can teleport at any point. And he's just basically holding an action ready to like basically defend. Uh, if, if someone were to come out of uh, to attack either of you, she's ready to attack. Kira, however, is gonna look at you, Lo-Fi Boy. And then look at the, um, at the, what's it called? At the, um, at the Warforged. And he's just going to summon her Crystal Claw again. And then it's got to smash at it. Well, she trips over the paw of your, uh, your Kamaino. No! <laughs> You should bot of inspiration, can you not ask? Never mind. <laughs> Yay! She doesn't trip, but she does she like musical she, notes. Yeah, the musical notes kinda of like wobble her back into her sense and she's like just about to like trip over and she like uh, hops to keep herself up. But she is like she kinda of, like gets thrown off balance and is unable to attack in that turn. Love boy, your turn. Okay, um... Oh, oh, oh yeah, now I get to do that. I would like to enter rage. <laughs> <laughs> After all this time. After all uh, this time. So I go into a spicy calculated mode of like trying to just end this forge that like, um, has like been really problematic to us all. Mm -hmm. A three. A three. What does three do, Sam? Oh, which way am I facing? Right, <laughs> left. <laughs> I should be facing oh, wait, the... It should be on the right side, right? What do you mean? Wait, on the left or right? The description... Okay, I'm just gonna copy... Uh, paste it. Of what the three should do. Um, ah, yeah, no, it's probably it'd be pollen burst here. Yeah. We can, uh, we, we, can, we can, we can, uh, we can, we can swap it around if you like. Well, it already says on my left side, and I'm facing down, so my left side would be towards the the towards the forged. Yeah. Oh yeah, then yeah, for, like, yeah, it'd be towards forge. Yeah, no, and yeah, it's fine. It's all, it is it's all, it's all, technically yeah, yeah. yeah it, just, it just gets over like its foot, but like yeah, it's hobbling in your direction. So, uh, it, with the DC, uh, what's the DC we said? Uh, Sam, I'm gonna stop you there. Be... You won't need to. Yeah. Because I don't. Although a burst of pollen, burst out of your flowers, uh swirling around the wolf forge it just looks down at all the dust in the air and just like swats it away as you oh, see you, you look into the forge's eyes and you see there is no real spirit there interesting cool um nothing to nothing to have fear yeah that's so cool um I, I I actually have a lot of like uh, respect for that creature. Um It's so cool! Oh my god! Um Like I, I guess the uh, oh, oh. mm. yeah. <laughs> I know. We have a forge stand over here. He's like, man <laughs> That's the coolest thing. Um I guess Lo Fi Boy would just like really smile and approve and nod. Um, but I think I want to try to. Can I try to pounce on the Komainu and hit with the sword? You do. It can also get. If you if the Komainu attacks, it'd get advantage as well. Because it has pack tactics. Okay. Uh. So it has the... Wait, no, that doesn't work. 
Sorry, it's just the movement. I wasn't used to it. I think I'm too close to do a pound, so let me just do... Yeah, you are. You'd have to uh, go back, I believe. Yeah, yeah, no. Instead, I'm just gonna do, I guess, uh... I'm sorry, I couldn't see properly. Uh... A, a bite at its foot. Mm -hmm. And, uh... A slash of my sword. The tendon or the vines, but anyways. Just give me a second. Also, I have inspiration that I never used from last time. I'm not sure if I can use it now, but if I can, I would use it on. You can use your inspiration on your attack if you want as well. And that bite, you can okay. roll advantage on that bite if you want. Uh, sure. No, advantage is like a whole d20 for your sword. Not body consideration. Oh, advantage of the sword? Yeah, you. you oh, you, you. Oh my god, you have two advantages stacked because you have like your body inspiration. Not your body inspiration, the silvery Bob's inspiration. And you also have oh. the advantage from inspiration. Oh. So, yeah. And if, uh, you, if you want to roll bite again for me, please. Yes. The bites don't hit. Like they're just like the stone is unable to like clasp and pierce yeah. into the metal. However, this brings you into range with your sword, and you're able to just slash and cleave at the. Um, in your rage, uh, you your your sword, your forged magic on your sword glitches and glimmers as it uh, takes the shape of the sword and like just like kind of keeps weaving and changing in this shape and form. Um, and like as it slashes into the forge, you like you 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 calculate this uh, uh, this perfect slash. Uh, uh, was it one of the tendons? Yeah. Where is one of the tendons? What is a tendon? Uh, well, I'd imagine like at the heel, basically. Like mm -hmm. if it has like yeah, they got heels. The thing tried to gnaw on top. I slash and behind. Yeah. You are able to. Yeah. You like as soon as like it basically like your command like leaps into the area. And you just slash at it. You cut into the uh, into its heel, and you actually like slice off its foot, essentially, L loosening a lot of the armor that is there, and revealing just a, a bunch of vines like latched onto a stone and bits of metal. And it like it hobbles as it's struggling to hold itself up. And I, I just nod at at at, at here, like let's finish this thing. Mm -hmm. that, that would be it. it is its turn now, and it's going to attack you. If I find its sheet. And then it's going to do vines on the Kamayu. It gets you. It just throws its body at you, Lofi boy. Knocking you off of the Kamayu. As your body just hits the ground in a heavy thud, as you feel your spirit for a second wane, dropping you to the ground. Is there? I can't remember if there's a feature with uh, barbarian that lets you come back if you're raging. Uh, you might want to look into that for me, because if you yeah, don't, you are find it. I think it does. But you get knocked off your kamaino, and it just moves its attention from the kamaino uh, from you to the kamaino. As like it's like hobbling down, it like with its other arm, it grows to grasp it with its vines. The Kamaino is able to just like pull away and just start biting at it, and the Kamaino almost like is like in a protective stance, ready to protect you, and like is like just like trying to hover over you. Loniko, it's your turn. I'm running on back. <laughs> I ain't got any mm -hmm. spell slots. So we're gonna have to try and do a medicine check. <laughs> mm -hmm. Try and stabilize Lofo Boy. Go ahead. Uh, I believe he does also have. Oh no, he wasted that on. Well, no, I say wasted. He used that on Kira. Sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Um... I mean... 
you're able to stabilize it. You're able to bring back. Um, you're like kind of like. I would describe it as like you. You have like so you've recently been able to see spirits, and hmm. as you see more and more spirits, you can like kind of see each people's spirits from time to time, and you could see the spirit that's within Lo Fi Boy's eyes kind of waning and like wafting outwards and trying like not crawl out but like just like drift out but as it's coming out you can like almost like how would you like push to cog yeah you want to just push it straight back in yeah you just push yeah you just push it straight back into his eye like, love what you feel your spirit just like come back to and like you are although in, uh, like you're conscious you're like you're kind of almost like drained of energy as just there on the floor for a second in this moment Rebooting. <laughs> I suppose like, you know, I've used all my movement. Okay, I'm just gonna mm. chill out. <laughs> the Kamino just looks at you, uh, Lonely Con. You can see its spirit, and its spirit kind of like is like that of it is a Kamino spirit. Like it's like a little lion on top of the lion's head, in between the eyebrows, um, just over the jade, and it just kind of gives you a little bow. Oh. Uh, one question. Can I can I cast shield on on Lonico? You? Oh or, no, I uh, can't. Oh no, the command you still can do stuff. Yeah, on this I would like it to cast shield of faith on on Lonico. Alas, it is no longer your turn. Unless that was a reaction. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 it's a bonus action. So okay. never mind. Sorry. No worries, because Kiko is on the run. Seeing Lone Lo-Fi Boy drop, she pulls a little face, a sour face, as she just hovers <laughs> over him. I don't find, I guess. And she smacks you. <laughs> Killing him. He's dead. Take a death save. You get brought back up to eight uh, hit points. As you, like, feel Kiko hover over you. And, like, you have, like, that... that You now have a feeling of, like... um, Not harmony completely. But, like, half of, like, a whole song, almost. As, like, you feel... Hello, Nico, uh, holding the spirit in your eye, and Kiko, um, healing you. Almost a, uh, song of fire and earth, if you will. Oh, no, it'd be air and, um, air and, uh, earth. sorry, my mistake. <laughs> Thank you. Dang. I thought it was slick with that one. <laughs> Katsumi seeing you guys rush away. Oh, shit. She rushes over, and seeing the Kamainu, she thinks, okay, well, hmm. Stop. Like, she's, like, weighing if, like, it's gonna, like, protect you guys, or if she has to. And she decides, she, she believes in it, and she just kind of, like, slashes at the air as she uh, launches herself towards the, um, the forged, leaping off the Kamainu. And as she jumps off the coin, she brings a slash downwards. Cleaving at the air and um cleaving at the air and creating the sound like water as um, she slices into the world. And you can see the world we've opened up as she cuts it into it. If you give me a brief second. And you can see when it cuts open the world, you just see like she as she drops to the ground. You just see the um, the hulking mess struggling to hold up its weight and its own body. As when as by the time Katsumi's hit the ground, um, the Warforge has like been like not sliced in two, but sliced in half. And you can see into its core and all the vines and like some of it's burnt away um, and charred. While some places have like turned to like a glitchy mess, while other places have been like um, turned into white spider lilies, and some crystalline and pink, and as like it's just hobbling and trying to like get onto its um trying to get its footing, it falls into the hole that was uh, cut open by the uh, bill rays, and you just see um, the four just like fall into it. And, like, as soon as it crosses the thresholds, you can just see, like, it turns to just a glitchy mess of fire. And, like, you don't see... You just see just the plants. No no metal. Just plant. 
and just like faint spirits that glitch away. And but they don't they don't burn away. And they turn those fires turn green and uh, all those glitches turn green as they get pulled in. As you guys are out of combat. Oh well. You guys are still on the chase. If you would like to continue, you can con uh, keep chasing uh, the yokai. Uh, if we keep chasing Mix, do we all fit on the combine? How big is it? I'd say yeah. I'd say you'd all be able to fit. It's, it's large. It's like, it's huge. Well, not huge, huge, but it's huge in that you guys are like, a lot of you are fairly small people. Like, Katsumi is is athletically swim, slim. Kira is... I mean, she's thick, but look. <laughs> oh my god, Kaz. Oh. What? I'm just saying. You can't tell, but that's because she's got parachute pants on. <laughs> They're not parachute pants at all. Mm. I don't know what parachute uh, pants are. We can try to all get get on and just go after it if we want why well, you gotta call me up for george <laughs> i'm just saying that they're not parachute pants I mean, they're, they're kind of they're, they're skinny jeans because she's just that sick oh my god oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah you guys are able to give chase and if i Pull up the music. So you guys are able to like, yeah. You guys run uh, on the um, on the giant combine, doing your best to chase after the hag. As you can see, it's still clambering, searching outside on the cove. As um, if I put you guys on this map, can we grab the the fake Kiko on the way? You can. You can definitely. <laughs> Cool. I'm gonna put you guys over here. As uh, so you guys are all over here, and like I'm gonna bring your tokens over. So it's give me a hot moment. That's the wrong map. Uh, where are we? You can yeah. So you looking out on the cove. Um, you can see that like when you in front of you is just kind of like a small inclining like sandy stony uh, platform that is um that is kind of like almost untouched by time as like you get out onto the, um, the stones and like you can see like that like the waves are crashing into uh the incline but like you're un unsure of like what I mean, like, of like how like high up all of this is, but you f you you feel this is very close to um, the ground, um, and like turning around, you can see the walls of um, or a sheer rock face that leads up to Isoto City. So you can see the walls, the Art Deco walls of Isoto on the outside, um, and you can see you can you can just about see like some of the skyscrapers and like their billboards and signage um, glowing as the sun is just beginning to set as the sky is turning pink and orange uh you can see that the walls have like these um like ropes tied to them and have a shide uh, hung off them and you can assume this is some form of uh, this is a spiritual place for the people that like did have this um that would would come here to the uh, to this cove and as you can see two old um uh sea washed uh, combine new statues and just like the Tori gate as well both are covered in like just dust of like salt uh, that has evaporated and like lichen and moss and like seaweed um same with just like the, the sandy like um cove uh ahead of you uh looking in front you do see um through the Tori gate you can see a statue of a elf creature sitting in a medita meditating state uh, its face broken into four pieces wearing robes that depict the various elements uh fire earth water and air a majority like various uh birds uh the rooster uh the peacock um the heron and um 
or the vulture and you can see also a range of various familiars and mythical uh beasts all over the uh that have been carved into this uh statue lovingly um and it's wearing a headdress of uh feathers and beads of the various uh, birds and his hair is done up very elegantly almost like as if like this was this person turned stone um but you can see they have no facial features as their face and their face is cracked into four different places um and like in front and like that's like uh floating this giant stone statue floating on a pool of uh, water with lily pads and you can just about see some fish swimming within but like as like you get like this sight and like you can see off in the distance just the faintest of three mountains um on the horizon as the sun begins to set and the moon uh is just starting to rise you can see the the basket hag uh, in front of you uh, i'm gonna put her down if i do this but like as soon as she sees you she blinks and her eyes form again and upon seeing you guys she, she just snips at the air and then just tears a hole into it and just you can just about you can just see the hole that she tears behind her um revealing a what looks like a heavily canopied forest or jungle you can see moss uh, and like heavy thick uh, thick trees inside that like go as far as your uh, visions can see as she cuts into this um if i do this as she as you just as she is cut into the hole of the world and just makes her way in as you can see. yeah as she uh yeah and she cuts into the world and you can see this forest and jungle and you just see her you see her just like pull herself through um and she doesn't even like turn to look at you guys and she just like as soon as she jumps across through this hole the rift closes um and in that moment the air is extremely still and just calm for like the briefest of moments but then to be immediately broken by uh kiko beginning to cry as uh that crying begins to be muff uh, is muffled as you see uh kiko and kira and kiko um and katsumi have like hopped off the um the combine you a while like within the moments of everything happening as soon as like the basket had left and like everything settled down um and you guys were like kind of like frozen or like still in place they just had formed a hug around each other and like both all of them like on their knees and like just like hugging uh hugging kiko and when you look at the hug it's extreme it looks to be very tight they is as if they do not want to let they will never let her go ever again and you can hear them just silent, like all of them just kind of crying each, within uh, within their uh, hold. I'm just going to clear this and then play this. Do you guys do anything while uh, they're having that moment? Like how, how do you guys, uh, how do you guys react, and how do you like as characters? How did you, how do you guys feel after like that having that? What might have felt probably the most tense moments of your entire lives, uh, especially you, Loniko. <laughs> <laughs> how she are you both just, feeling? Sorry, go. Yeah, she's happy for the sisters and stuff, and she probably just take like a very deep breath. Um, hop off the Kamainu and make sure Lo-Fi Boy's still okay. Is not gonna collapse again? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and just like pat him on the arm and then probably just kind of slowly wander up to the statue and just like take it all in and close yeah. her eyes and listen to the sea and the wind and mm -hmm. all the sense of being outside yeah. again. Yeah, no, it's it feels like like when the as soon as light hits you, it feels like you don't you are surprised at how much time has passed underneath Isoto in, in those moments. 
and it feels like mm, ages have passed. Um, actually, could you both also roll an insight or um, a survival check for me? Um, when you look at the pond, you can see that there are koi fish swimming underneath the lily pads. And like the water looks to be like really shallow. But like, if like when you peer into it and like, like put your hands into it, you feel like it goes on forever. It is deceptively deep. I guess I go next to Lomiko and I tell her, I guess a fishing rod would be a good idea now, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Get this man a fishing rod start. <laughs> <laughs> you... And also, sorry, no, um, Nico. Thank you. I'm really sorry, and thank you. Well, we did all make it out, like I said. Um. Also, with that inside survival, you both are aware that the mountains in the distance on the horizon are Kasakawa Island. Um, when you and like after you guys like have like a little moment, I think, and like just take it in. Um, Lo, I will say also when you see the statue, it is very sad to see, almost. And like it feels like, like you, like you're aware this is Shion. Um, mm. You're aware like this is, this was the Shio car before they were four. And like it's almost bittersweet to see like oh this. They like there was a time before, and like there was like. They were like as revered and as special to people as as they are now, but it's sad that they're like. This statue is like in the almost in the state it is in like like for how beautiful it is like having the face split in four. In. Like that's the only thing that ruins the entire statue. The statue like feels very much like. Mm. That's like it's uh, it's extreme. It's uh, um, it's just very upsetting to see. Is the way I'd describe it. Um. Is the sorry, crack in the face like is it a natural crack or was no. it like? No. It's like almost like. Yeah. Something was hammered into a central point and split into four from there. If you want to roll, um, roll for me in, roll for me another, I'd say, intelligence. She's, she's doing it. You, looking at the cracks, you can see that they are... They look almost familiar in that, like, they are shaped how the four territories of Sh Shreleo are split. Mm. Not completely central, and like, you can see, like, the, the the corner that is in the top right is the largest piece of the entire Earth face, taking up one entire corner, taking up, a, like, a third of the top right, and almost the entirety of, like, the bottom half. It's like there's, like, a tiny sliver of like what you could assume would be Kengala. Are you knowing like that like when you when you and Lacera left, Kengala was almost like entirely uh, captured uh, by uh, the Aiden Empire. Mm. Um and like this almost feels like that's this is a representation of the the lands and how they are divided. Um yeah. So like how they're divided now? Yes. And like, as like you're looking at that, um, Kira, Katsumi, and Kiko um, walk beside you guys, or like uh, to your sides. Um, Kira looks extremely like shy in this moment, and um, her voice is very much croaky and dry and just exhausted. Thank. You. Thank, thank you for, for, for helping us. No, thank you for, for helping. Thank you for thank you for rescuing our sister. Uh, 
happy to help. I it just nod. I think Lo's probably gonna take a step forward and like kneel down by well, it's like in front of the statue. Um, and I think she'll probably play her flute. Mm -hmm. If there's like a song that she learned at the temple, Many. to... yeah, <laughs> but, like um, ones that relates to maybe she and as a whole. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm not gonna ask you. You need to roll to perform anything because you have been on fire. Um, <laughs> you do. You start playing a very melancholic bittersweet um tale of like uh she and when he was whole and how shreleo or what shreleo was before the first kotaka and like this the melody becomes it's very uplifting until like the that first passage passes where it moves on to um when she and and kiro had to have their meeting and um hiradaralo uh the little sentinel the kamaino who um who was uh, Sheehan's pet uh, Kamaino. Um, it, it rises up to that point in the story where like uh, Sheehan has to be split into four uh, at a tea ceremony at one of the Reishabus. Um And it becomes very sad. And like as soon as it like hits the crescendo and the climax of the piece, it becomes, it returns back to that melancholic, oh not melancholic, that, um, that happy melody at the beginning. But instead of being one main entire whole harmonious thing it's kind of um fragmented split into four different bars uh, but when kiko comes in uh, kiko gets beside you and she starts also um she starts singing the words to the song and the, the words are spoken in her uh, dialect of uh, rumble i think it's rumble um yeah uh, and she's something, and you've not heard it as song like this. You've only heard it as whistle. So it's interesting when you hear the words are different, and the parts she sings are different and like in different spots, but they all come together and like they you, you recognize it's the same song. Mm. And and you can see like you Katsumi's happy crying when she's singing it with you. Um. And Katsumi's on, on the verge of tears, uh, also happy. And Loniko is... I mean, not Loniko, sorry. Kira is... Kira's, like, just kind of sitting on the floor, cross-legged, and she's just, like... Well, not cross-legged. Um, like, with her arms, like, uh, at back, like, just uh, holding herself up and her legs outstretched in front of her. Uh, almost like she's just, like, uh, in a very relaxed uh, situation, as if she was exhausted, and she's, like, just ready to, like, just collapse. But she is crying as well. Um... And, like that goes on for like that feels like um that feels what well, that song felt like hours as it goes on but like it doesn't like well it it feels like hours but it also feels like minutes and seconds um as everything happens and like the sun and you can see the moon rising over Kasakawa as this is all as that's happening and like yeah like, time just feels like it's moving extremely fast and like you, you just feel your bodies begin to be exhausted and you're just barely able to move um give me a second i'm looking up my notes um yeah kira and katsumi and uh, kiko just kind of sit together again and just like just happy i was happy to be with each other and like in that moment you see a flash um, in the sky, um, just where the moon is. As you see f um, a bird flying through the air towards you guys and landing uh, right in front of you, Loniko and um, Lo-Fi Boy. Uh, Queen, uh, Pimera's bird, uh, the um, fiery wildfire phoenix, uh, just props against you and like as like the breeze the breeze uh, washes up you have uh, salt stone and sea you get this you you smell pimera you smell the plains you smell cats you smell the wild you smell 
ash and fire uh, as like she as as queen stops in front of you dropping uh in one of her legs she drops or one of her feet she drops an origami bird uh made of from a leaf and like as like it like folds out in front of you uh, you see there's two feathers of uh, queen's plumage uh there and you see uh Pymera just float away i mean not Pymera float away sorry you see queen fly away as soon as uh that has all landed <clears throat> and uh the message reads to lo-fi boy and lo nico and rocky I had met the most handsomest and smartest man I've ever known. The author of my favorite book series. I cannot say what it is called, cause then the little girl may want to read it as I know I'm a large influence on her. But this is not a book for little girls. We had met that day when I was catching that fish ghost. And I saw him again today and we went and had dinner. With that dinner, we had offerings to take me away and witness the world. As a, as a druid, I would love to see the world and all its natures. But that means we will have to say goodbye. I will miss you all dearly. And hope that you'll be able to help Rocky, or at least he'll be able to help himself out of rock bottom. I get it, it's a rock rock. <laughs> Love, Pimera and Queen. And we're not just done yet, because like there's a bit more happening. Uh, oh. <laughs> there's a lot happening, yeah. Um... Is there any like response you have to that letter that might happen? Or how do you guys react? How do you guys? Um, actually, it all depends. Oh, I have a, I have a lavender candy that I put in one of my components, uh, one of my storage, um, com parts of my body. Mm -hmm. Pocket. Um, I'd like to try to give. Wait, but Queen already went away, or did she know? I no. I will reckon that she stayed for a bit. Okay. Uh, I'd like to give the candy so that I know Queen will burn it, but still, like there is a pouch if... for like um for you guys to put things. So I'd like to put in that candy and to put in. I guess if we can just respond, uh, I'm not sure if uh, if Queen uh, is able to just uh, send like vocal messages or if it's uh, it has to be written. She just gives you like a little bear as uh, she mm. as she looks at you very such and twists her head in a curious manner. And then, uh, yeah. <laughs> um, you can tell Primera that I am happy that she has found what she is looking for, and that her kindness and friendship has opened me to make many a new friend and I turn to the Komainu statue but also to Kira, Kuki and Katsumi. Kira gives you a nod and Katsumi and Kiko also give you a nod and a smile. They're still cool. And that like I will cherish her friendship forever and that I will always be her friend and we can always hang around whenever whenever she is available queen gives a nod and then looks at low nico if she wants to say anything i will hand over or put in the little pouch one of my little bells from mm -hmm. my belt um and just say um, Miss Pimera, have fun on your trip, and look after her queen. She gives a very, um, she gives you a nod and then a smile. Or how birds would smile. You can, you can, you can, you, you can tell she's smiling, she's, she, she means that. 
And then in as fast as like Queen floated down, she flashes away uh, like a spark of fire. Um, and like in those like final like moments, it's like you're just hearing the waters, just the the waves uh, moving back and forth with the horizon of Casa in the distance. You see three faint silhouettes off in the distance as you can hear the sound of something grunting and clambering as you or like various gruntings and clamberings as you hear something climbing up the rocky surface but as that's climbing you see the silhouettes on the horizon are closer still far away but closer as you see three giant brooding silhouettes make their way towards the island that's doing the thing that i didn't want it to do that's okay uh so they make their way to the um to the uh this hidden cove they are they look to be they they're very far away but they're still brooding enough to be seen from where they are and um but like, as soon, as soon as you catch, like you see those, you see the cracks on the face of um, uh, Shion change, as the smallest the, the smallest crack disappears, and the crack that is most northern, uh, making up the border between Haida La or Haida Eo and um, uh, Edo Sha that becomes smaller uh, on Haido Eo's uh, side. Uh, Haido Eo is becoming smaller and Kengala has disappeared. But that's one last thing happens uh, before we end and finish up. Um, that grunting and that, uh, those clambering noises uh, from up over here. You see a staff made of gold uh, reach over with a white uh, woolly hand that um is reaching up above the cove and you can just, you notice the staff is like is a a high priest's staff um uh a high neo uh staff uh Lonico. and you can see he's got the four pointed star and four rings um jingling on it and you can see three lime green hands also climb up as you can see the silhouette of a group of uh, people but we can end uh, the session there. All right. Boy. Thank you. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll do one last note. Um, yeah, Lonnie, you have like this foreboding feeling within you when you do see this person or these people. You're where you need to be. And you're... Yeah, you're in the right place and in the right time. And we're going to end the session there. Thank you for joining us on session 16 of Thrones of Sands. <laughs> you, you almost got me there, Cats. Almost. I was almost crying. Dang, I thought the primary one would have got you. <laughs> I feel like I should let it set in just a bit more, but not to worry. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> 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 oh my god, <laughs> the laddie is man, I swear. But yeah. Um. Thank you, uh, chat. Uh, if you've been lurking, watching the vod, hanging out, um, in chat and partaking in the stream, I greatly appreciate you. Um. Sam, Georgia, you're both stars. <laughs> Is there anything we want to plug before we finish up? Just thank you everyone for supporting the stream and donating. Mm. And if you're just like enjoying and and being yourselves and and like there's so much to be excited about, not just for next session, but like with everyone's ideas and everything 
I have trouble wrapping my head around everything that happened, but That's okay. I'm very, very grateful. Um, it, it's it's an amazing thing. Just thank you. All right, we'll have a. We shall have our our post session clarity in, in a moment. Um, yeah, there's uh, links there for George's art and her jewelry, and Sam's um, his Twitch. And if you guys want to, um, I'll I'll talk about the, uh, the charity stuff in a hot second. Uh, but I'll skip through all the, the plugs and stuff first before anything. Um, and if you've enjoyed my art and you've enjoyed the just all the stuff that's uh, been on screen, you can check out my um, Instagram, my Twitter, so is where I post most of my art. Um, we also run a community uh, D&D game that's set in the same world as Shrey Leo, and a lot of the stuff that's happening, that's just, even just happened, has been impacted by stuff that's happened on the West Marches. And like, there's, it's a very much a cyclical, or um, cyclic, no, not cyclical, like kind of a, everything's hand in hand with one another. And, on, with that. and if you want to be part of that, you can in the Discord. That's not how you spell Discord. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, and if you want to catch up with the entire campaign to get to like the moment that we have just had um, we will yeah that's that's that uh, there's the VODs there I'll be, uh, this will be uploaded next Sunday and uh, we do we may have next session will be next Sunday uh, we'll have to get back to you on that one but that may be the plan um, because we're going to take a week off um, at the beginning of July and we're gonna get do all the stuff for jailhouse rocky and lo alongside this oh yeah yes. um which is actually worth mentioning as well Jail <laughs> we will be having jailhouse rocky the mini campaign that is uh focused on rocky's uh, prison adventures uh will be airing or going live uh 17th of june only 17th of july um 8 p.m pst and if you want to be a part of that come by it'll be just as interactive and just as like uh, cool <laughs> and with an amazing cast of players uh, that are different uh, but you'll see some returning faces and you'll see some uh, some cool people uh -huh. but yeah uh, with that uh, I'm gonna take a Kiko and Katsumi and Kira off the screen um, I will be saying a few things uh, uh, we're gone. Uh, thank you again uh, for being here I had appreciate um, everyone turning out, especially and supporting, because it was very last minute. We, I wasn't expecting to have to, or not have to. I wasn't expecting to like be offered or given uh, asked to um, run a charity event, and being something that I um, and as something as us as a cast and team support, I thought it was essentially a no-brainer. I did. I was planning on having Jailhus Rocky be like a whole, like we'd have the entire series support uh, that, but something immediate was desired so uh, it made sense that this would be the plan i will still be um personally donating through every subscription and bit donation made up till 50 pounds uh, so i'll be matching that's so, like we made i believe eight subscriptions this uh, session so the plan is i will be making um i'll be donating eight pound and like as like we get more um donations up and or subscriptions and bits till the end of the month i'll be donating to match that as well um, so if you want to support the stream, or if you want to, so, uh, not support the stream, sorry, support, uh, Narl and their, um, and the right for, uh, freedom for everybody, um, you can through subscriptions, and if you've got an, a Prime subscription, that's a free way of, uh, making your little, uh, your little dent and, um, supporting. I'd also like to thank, uh, because I didn't thank everyone that's, uh, donated, um, during the session uh so i'm just gonna refresh and like i mentioned before like we weren't like the aim wasn't to like hit our goal because of like how last minute it was so but like, it was appreciated how much we did get and how much um everyone got involved and how much people were supporting the situation uh thank you art parlor for the five dollars muck bluff thank you for the ten dollars uh georgia thank you for the five dollars <laughs> frankie thank you for the twenty dollars and soaring tulip as well thank you for the twenty dollars and i'm sorry lucy Lucille, thank you for the $25. And uh, thank you guys if you've been lurking, watching the bot, and sharing, and just supporting. And if you've come from the raid, and like just. And to, to, to yeah, 
I, I hella, I hella appreciate it. Um, I think that's everything on my part. Any last things you guys, guys want to say before we head off? I'm sure I find a raid. This was officially the longest session. It was. And, uh, <laughs> there's, I, I'm, I, I hope that like, whenever you're listening to this, uh, if you're like, and for the people who are here right now, like, oh my god, like, what an adventure, like. Mm, what an, yeah. I, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're gonna raid a ladies of D and D, uh, so we're gonna drop a vibe check for them. Um, so if you want to stick around for raid, you can. Um, next stream will be Tuesday, as because Monday's my day off. Because after, after task, I am wiped the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, time. yeah, especially after like today's session, this has been one, an event. So I shall uh, be saying goodbye, and hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Well, I don't catch you on the next stream. I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Bye. Bye.